This isn't Pikmin. <laughs> Guys, you have no idea. You have no idea. Yeah, what is even happening with this chat? Hold on. What the what the hell? What the hell? Wow. I know. I didn't expect it either. I thought I sold out. But as it turns out, I have not sold out just yet. <laughs> Maybe at 10,000 subscribers. Maybe. Maybe I'll sell out at 10,000, guys. Maybe. I'll consider it. <laughs> not back to streaming Pokemon. All right. For, to preface... Those of you who may be new to the channel strictly because of any type of Pikmin content that I've done in the past. Uh, probably Lands of Torture because that was the first project that we came back with. Uh, I'm going to make sure OBS is all good, that I sound good, that we're chilling. We are. Very nice. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I do a variety of games. A lot of Pikmin stuff, obviously. There's not a ton of Pikmin content on the platform. And there is a ungodly plethora of Pokemon content. And this is not something that is necessarily unique. Now, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Did I just say my content's not unique? Anyway, uh, <laughs> this is Pokemon XG. It is a ROM hack of Pokemon XD. You know, like the, the emoji, the ha ha, you know, the smiley one that you used to use when you were using your phone, your flip phone, like back in 2005. That one, yes, XD. 2005 is the year XD came out. 2022, I believe, is the year that this version of XG dropped. Now, we did Grand Coliseum um, around five months or six months back. It took a long time to put that together. Um, and here we are in a very similar type of hack to a Pokemon X, or, uh, excuse me, Pokemon Grand Coliseum. It takes place in the Ore region. It's all double battles. There's fairy type. Oh man. There's a bunch of moves. There's new shadow Pokemon. There is a number of features. Now, I have not played through XG all the way. Uh, I played through, let's see, I mean, we're gonna, obviously you know, we're in, Hello, this is what we're called. Yes, let's just get past this part. No rival in this game, which is hilarious. Anyway, um, I played through XG back in 2016. Not on this channel, but just in general. And I think I made it all the way up to, like, the Snagum hideout the first time. Um, but this is totally different um, than it was way back in the day. Uh, the tools have come much further. I'm pretty sure the game is, like, significantly more polished uh, and it's been six years since I've even touched um, this ROM hack, frankly. Um, Grand Coliseum was super successful. People were asking me to do this one. Uh, people are also asking me to do regular XD, but uh, I already did it. And it's somewhere in the ether of, of YouTube. Uh, might be, uh, I don't know, it might be unlisted. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe I planned on making highlights of it, and then maybe it got complicated, and then maybe it was annoying, and then maybe it's been a year and a half. Celia, how is this different from vanilla? Very good question. So there is a difficulty, indeed. Uh, in XD, it's a Generation 3 game, right? So that means that there are Pokemon only up... Or actually, no, there's still only Pokemon up to um, the Hoenn decks. But for instance, Metagross... Nose Bullet Punch, and Power Up Punch, and Zen Headbutt, all of which, except, oh, well, it's gonna freeze, but not if I say ignore, ha <laughs> ha, all of which are moves that exist past the third generation. So new moves, new types, new stats for uh, different Pokemon, uh, balancing changes, you name it, this hack has got it, nothing really story changed, I don't believe. Um, but we finished Lands of Torture, and I wanted to come back because it's been months since we hit a, uh, a Donna Pokemon project. Pikmin is a lot of fun and really great, and I'm always, you know, really happy to, to do Pikmin stuff. Um, but at the same time, like, I want to play what I want to play, and that's just kind of how it works. So, it's definitely going to be a little more of a chill stream. 
Definitely not as crazy. This doesn't mean Pikmin's gone. Don't worry. Don't worry, everyone. I know. Um, but I was doing Pokemon content as a mix, you know, prior to doing any type of Pikmin content. It just so happens that the Pikmin content pops off. But uh, we'll be back. We'll be back. This is just something we, we got to get done. We have to get it done. I mean, we did Grand Coliseum. We, so that means we have to do XG. And we're going to do it the first attempt. You know, we did Grand Coliseum, in, I think, in 13. We're going to do XG in 1. Oh, yeah. None of this matters. This is a Pokemon story. Um, it's not funny. It's not interesting. Uh, she's got a funny lab coat. You know what's silly? I installed, like, a, um, a resource pack to make it look HD, and it looks not HD, which is so weird. I feel like it should look better, but it doesn't. And truly, I, I don't know. Letterbomb, what's going on? How we doing? Matt T, what's going on? From one PKMN to another. Exactly, that's what I'm talking about. That's so weird, dude. I literally installed a resource pack. I mean, it, didn't, it never looked like it, but it's funny because it, it seems like it worked based on, like, the title screen. I don't know. The one and only time content can change from Pikmin to Pokemon, and we can go finally back to the underdog. I know it's and it's such a it's such a funny situation too, because like, you know, the Pikmin stuff it's it's unique, and nobody else I'm not nobody else, but like, there's not nearly as many. Like, you could look up Pokemon XG. I'm sure you'll find a ton of playthroughs. Um, really, this just serves as a means for me to play the game and then eventually make a video out of it. The video will do good. The streams won't do so good, but it's also an opportunity for you know me to actually kind of engage with chat uh, a little bit more and um, Pokemon it's a slower paced game it is just as frustrating but it is super duper nice uh, because I could just go like this and oh my god I'm not being attacked by 8 million different things there's nothing coming out of the ground falling from the sky I'm not being blown up I'm standing in a building <laughs> and I forgot what that feels like in a video game i'm so these games guys these games absolutely just they 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 do it to me man they they do uh, seriously and it's funny because like i highly highly enjoy playing difficult games right but at the same time i think i just like stress you assume the skull in the corner is not implying anything insidious no definitely not definitely not i guess to just get it out of the way we are going to be playing... Oh, I'm sorry. I have, to, I have to talk to the guy who's literally hiding underneath the freaking table because he's playing hide-and-seek and he's doing an absolutely fucking terrible job. Look at him. Oh, my God. Bro, you're literally... Like, at least put a blanket over yourself or something. Like, you're not... It's not even... I don't know. <sighs> mad. He makes me mad. All right. To preface, the rules. We're playing XG, Gale of Darkness. We're going to be playing... As a hardcore Nuzlocke. Now, what a hardcore Nuzlocke means is, in this game, we're going to be able to catch every single Pokemon. I know that's not usually the first rule, but that's the way we're going to play it. If a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead, and we're no longer allowed to use it. We can only level our Pokemon up to the level of the next boss trainer. Uh, no items in battle. Uh, it's a double battle anyway, so it's always going to be played on set mode, usually in, uh, first person, or first person, oh my god, in single player campaigns, usually in, like, main series Pokemon games, it's, um, it's always on Switch mode. Carrot Louie, yo, with the $2 donation, shout out to all the stream lurkers. We love lurkers here. We do. No, we definitely do. Yeah, we also have a scooter, which is way, way less cool, um than in Colosseum where you have like a really cool like dirt bike that's like kind of Star Wars-y and you also have like you know a side piece in it not the sidecar I'm talking about the girl who sits in the anyway anyway this is this is Chobin he, he's a recurring character he's not interesting at all nothing is interesting about Pokemon except for the actual battles I hate to say it I, I hate to say it the battles are the only thing that make Pokemon a fun series all the story outside gens four and five eh, give or take you know eh, you know nothing nothing hot in there the main you know main series pokemon games i mean like you know, mystery dungeon different story totally different story 
What am I playing? The Pokemon Skyrim mod. Uh, is it a mod of Pokemon to be like Skyrim or a mod of Skyrim to be like Pokemon? <laughs> Shout outs to Simple Flips. Sure. Sure. Uh, don't look like Pileated Snaggerts. No, indeed, they're not. Thank goodness. Yo, Tong, what's going on? Welcome on in. Tong's here. Feels like the recurring theme of XD where everything's step up from the original with glaring exception of the protagonist being a massive downgrade. Yeah, it's so funny. Like, the graphics are better. The gameplay's better. It's longer. Um, everything is basically improved. Uh, except for... I don't even want to say the story. Because, in fact, like... Well, I like Coliseum probably more than X, uh, XD. Only because... I just like the vibe of Colosseum a little bit better. It's shorter, but I, I like kind of how seriously it takes itself almost. Whereas, like, you know, this is this plays more like a Pokemon game. It is serious. Um, and it's substantially just a better game overall. Like, it's it's more balanced, you know. Uh, but I, I'm a fan of Wes's design. And, you know, I don't know. Something is very nostalgic for me about the OG Colosseum. I mean, I've played an absolute butt-ton of XD as well. Can't wait for God to your game and a good streamer to be there. Hey, thank you, Alex. What's going on? Welcome on in. I kind of look like Sudabudo. Honestly, I kind of do. I kind of do. You got the Sudabudos in chat? I hope we get a Sudabudo. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, that is. Yeah, that's absolutely right. XD is just whitewashed Coliseum. That's so funny. You're you're totally right. It's like it's like four kids Coliseum. <laughs> it's 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 Funimation Coliseum. They they had to censor it, you know, for for the younger audience. I, I you know what I really seriously, you know what I really think happened is that they handed off the Pokemon property to Genius Sonority, who are the ones who developed uh, this game. And I think that they just kind of let them do their thing with the Pokemon franchise. And they made it, like, darker than I think they were intending to. So then Game Freak was like, whoa, 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 reel it back. Not allowed. We, we can stay in the region. It sold pretty well. But you guys are going to have to do things our way. Will I be doing the Pokemon Coliseum Hardcore Nuzlocke again without the ball glitch? No. No, there's definitely like far too many, um, far too many projects to take down. I, I can't, I don't really like revisit, uh, games unless they're games that like are significantly short. Like Coliseum's not that short. And we've also played Coliseum and Grand Coliseum. That's enough Coliseum for the channel, I think. Outside of maybe like, I don't know, like a charity stream or something, uh, something like that. You know, there'd have to be like a good reason to, to revisit Coliseum. You're glad I'm playing Pokemon because you can't. The game is just so slow. It is It is definitely slow. But that's one thing about um, XD. I mean, I guess, you know, as soon as you get into the battles, it does take a little bit of time. It's a little annoying. Um, but I don't know. I could definitely use a slower game because in other games, I'm thinking of Pikmin 2 Lands of Torture, which obviously is the last game that we streamed. I just have to pay attention, dude. I just, I just had to pay attention all the time. And, like, do you know how much that wears on the brain? Especially doing it for, like, you know, six, seven hours in a row. Uh, you know, I do think the texture pack is working, actually. Because that cutscene is, like, used in a screenshot to show off the texture pack. And I think, I think it works. It just doesn't look noticeably better <laughs> oh the shadow monitor wait that I think is new I don't think you get the shadow monitor till later in like the main series game huh no smoking in chat thank you nameless person thank you um it's a Friday night you guys are more than welcome to smoke in chat though um <laughs> no qualms no qualms everybody has their vices it's legal in most places. Busy working, so I can pay attention. True. Oh my god, dude. The entire week killed me. And in in fact, I was 
there's a lot going on right now. The, 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 the guy got kidnapped. It's a whole thing. Story, story, story. Yep. Basically, they want him because uh, I think they want his brain power. Chump. Look at him. This guy's yoked, though. Can we drink? Absolutely. But not you, Tong, because you're like 14. <laughs> no, I, don't, I have no fucking clue. Oh, uh, jeez. Uh, yeah, so they try to kidnap my mans. He goes, ah! Uh... <laughs> Soinks! Like, help me! <laughs> Scoop! <laughs> no, I believe you, I believe you, I believe you, I believe you. Did put some berries on a burger to try it? That's so funny. Hey, it's a tailo! Wait, what? A third normal type. Wow, incredible. Oh! I have to throw a Pokeball. Okay. This is not a Teddy Ursa. Uh, that's how we know the game is working. We already knew the game was working, but this just double confirms it. So I'm, I'm happy to announce the game's working. Anyway, what was I saying? I totally freaking forget. Oh, yeah. So Pokemon can be slow, but it's like such a nice change of pace right now. Like, I've had a really kind of tough and grueling work week. I've been... Um, trying to catch up on like my job job as well as like editing and like you know I, so I finally got the emerald rogue video done um i just need to make the thumbnail and that will be able to uh go live on the channel again another pokemon thing sorry guys sorry 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 uh i need to write the questions for quote for the interview obviously the developer dive with quote I'd like to do one with Poke Abby, and I still want to get one with um, Supercell, who's Radical Red. Got to do Radical Red, too. See, there's so much, so many things. Uh, spec, Sal, the trainer name's not being in caps. Bothers you so much. I totally get it. I get it. It's interesting. I mean, it's funny because XD and Coliseum have just, like, nonsense names. You know, like, it's literally just random letters that are conjoined together to be, like... You know, like a name, like Dirt, or like Orlg, or like Dorf, you know? Like, it, it's like, what? Like, none of these names are real. Like, it, there's no Zach, there's no Adam, there's no Michael. Like, it's just it's just totally random. Does Swallow gets guts in this ROM? I believe so. Probably, I imagine so. Uh, Typhoon Lava, what's going on? Welcome on in. Uh, Dark, what are my ideas on new Pikmin types? Um, they're probably made at least partially out of plant and i think they'll have a leaf but other than that i mean you know it's up in the air it's all i know so far actually i had a i had an interview with miyamoto and um wait what do i need to do do i go to get port now i've played through this game enough it's not now it's not now <laughs> it's not now Anyway, so I had an interview with Miyamoto, right? I, I got Miyamoto on speed dial, and I asked him, I said, uh, Miyamoto-san, what kind of Pikmin are going to be in Pikmin 4? And in Japanese, he said, they're going to have leaves, and they're going to have an onion. Directly from the man himself, guys. So, you got the inside scoop here. Leave a like. <laughs> <laughs> comment on the inevitable highlight i fucking don't know dude i'm like I, I told you i'm having such a week it's been a lot of work and i've been doing a lot of editing and i haven't been getting much sleep either which is like super whack you know um it's, it's all my fault but at the same time like I'm running on not very much sleep right now. And in fact, I was considering not streaming tonight. I was initially planning on streaming XG and starting it tonight because I want to just, like, do it, you know? Um, but I was, like, I was like typing it up in Discord. I was just like, you know, I don't know if I feel like streaming tonight. Like, it's I'm freaking exhausted. I it just, like, it really wore me out. I got home, and I was just completely sapped of energy. Uh, when it came time to stream and especially like starting a new project, it's like, okay, there's a lot to do. There's, a, you know, it, it's, it's a large hill to climb and there's still so many things in the backlog. 
I need an assistant editor. That's what I, that's what I need. Actually, that's not true. I just need like a hundred thousand dollars, and then I'll do this full time, guys. I swear to God, I'll give up the last next like two years of my life. One hundred thousand dollars, <laughs> and for one thousand, I'll delete my lands of torture save file and play it again. No, nope, kidding, kidding. Talk talk to mom. Ah, uh, ah, uh, we did go back to mom. Yes, uh, Tijgiotek with the Pokemon content. You know it. Phase him, bone the cat. What's going on? Pitcher. Pikmin. That'd be fun. Pikmin should be able to throw captains. <laughs> Pikmin are strong as hell. They should be able to throw captains. I don't know. What about flowers? Sometimes. It depends. Definitely said Bulbman. Yeah, you're probably right. You're pro I don't know how to say Bulbman in Japanese. So, I didn't, like, you know, come across in conversation. Uh, also, oh, I see, okay, the HD, he does look a little bit better. Uh, this is Zook. He has a Mohawk, and I think he probably has a Zangoose. Um, a lot of the time, in ordinary XD ROMs, and I'm, like, really praying, a lot of the time, it'll freeze at Zook, and it'll freeze in the next sort of cutscene battle that happens. And it's happened in XD before for us. And I, I physically own XD, so I had to transfer over to a physical copy. And I'm really nervous that the game's going to freeze. And if the game freezes, everything's going to suck. And I don't know what to do about it. So we're going to play it by year. If the game freezes, we're going to do more reaction videos. <laughs> Easy content no i have no idea dude do not bone the cat i don't do that why do people in pokemon always have pink blue or red hair it's probably because genes are all types of wacky in this is this an umbreon run i think so so i had made a, a community post and i had said um Oh, that I was going to be playing through XG because that was the next, you know, project we were going to tackle, you know, whatever. Look at Manectric. the back of Manectrix, like, calves or whatever the hell those were. Detail. Unbelievable. Um, and somebody was, like, giving me tips on, like, their run through XD. And, or, or excuse me, XG. That's going to get really confusing and really old really fast um, because the names are so similar. Bear with me, guys. I'll say things wrong. I'm super duper freaking tired specifically right now. But, um, I'm leaning toward Umbreon, but I'll, I'll check. We'll see. Maybe I'll pull it. I don't know. Mint with the $5 donation. Do I have a name scheme idea for Mons in this run? So, it's a hardcore Nuzlocke, which means that, um, actually, we're going to be using every single Pokemon, but if they faint ever, they're gone. And this is a difficulty hack as well. So, you know, what that means is that uh, we're going to be getting bodied, like, all of the freaking time. For instance, in Grand Coliseum, I'm pretty sure we had 24 dead Pokemon by the end of the run, and that was a short game. I don't know how many Pokemon are in this, um, but we're going to we're gonna find out. Can the Pokemon be named after chat members? I think uh, there's definitely a way to do it. Usually I don't do naming schemes. That's a great question. Um... He's going to give us the Eevee stun. Or the Eevee, the Eevee Lucian, whatever. Eevee Lucians are sometimes cringe. They're either based or cringe, and there's no in-between. They're not just, like, neutral, you know. Oh, no. For sure I'm going to nickname the Pokemon, but it's a matter of finding Storm Drain. No shit. Guts is terrible. Magic Bounce is lame. Wow, okay, so Umbreon and Vaporeon seem like absolutely the two plays. Now, I don't know about you, chat. I mean, I, I'm willing to compromise. I'm willing to, to put up a poll. Flareon, if it had Flash Fire, you know, does Flash Fire... Flash Fire exists in Gen 3, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure it does. Um, We'll come up with a, a naming thing. What do I want? A wall or a sweeper? So, neither, well, Umbreon is a straight-up wall. Um, I don't know if Storm Drain functions correctly. 
You know what I mean? I would imagine that it does because it's a newer version of XG. So I imagine it's been, especially if they gave it to a starter, I imagine it works correctly. Um, Umbreon with filter does sound absolutely insane. But the issue with Umbreon is, especially in double battles and how um, the AI works in these type of games, is that they'll always target down the Pokemon that they think is going to be doing um, like more damage to. So they hardly ever target down Umbreon. And really, Umbreon just ends up sitting there as the other Pokemon is taking all of the damage. So it, it almost works counterintuitively, right? And that's what we experienced with Grand Coliseum, for sure. Absolutely, like, it, it almost did the opposite of what a wall should do. It, like, diverted attention, like, from itself, almost. Which was, like, really, really weird. Um... But I also really like the fact that Storm Drain exists because it means that we can switch in uh, and literally have an immunity. And Filter's great. This also has the physical and special split. Alex, I think you're right. And Phoebe, Fa Flash Fire does exist in Gen 3. Okay, cool. Bet. Magic Bounce would be good if Espeon wasn't squishy or if it wasn't doubles. That too. Davix, what's going on? It begins with, hey guys, did you know in terms of... <laughs> Doesn't really affect much if you got good defense Umbreon. Well, f I mean, Filter reduces damage from super effective moves. I mean, Fairy, Bug, Fighting. What do Jolteon and Flareon have? Uh, Jolteon has Lightning Rod and Flareon has Guts. Uh, and I... Uh, I kind of... I kind of vibe with... <laughs> Why do I like Flareon? Hold on, let me... You know what I need to do? I need to open up the documents. I need to see the changes. First and foremost. I just need to see. I just need to know, guys. I just I just have to know. Just to see. Because if Flareon has the same stats, I mean it's just it's just it's just crappy, right? XG 1.1. Where the wait, where's all the documents, dude? What the hell? I only have Hold on. I downloaded all the documents uh, earlier today, so I'm a little confused. XG 1.1. Let's take a look here. Also, I'm pretty sure that PK Hex will work with this. We're going to have to find out. Flareon goaded. FaceTiming this random girl. She's wondering if I'm really your friend. What do I have to say about that? If I'm really your friend. Well, one, why is how is she random? What in in what capacity is random? Like, am I able to say mean things and like get away with it? Or is this somebody that you're eventually gonna like, you know, you know, um, <clears throat> play Pokemon with, <laughs> play play Bingo Battle? <laughs> oh shit! I don't know. Let me, uh, <laughs> guys. I'm so, I'm so tired. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, text. XG stat list. What is this? Ew, what in the world is this? Stat table. Oh, oh, actually, this is, like, kind of laid out really nicely. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. Let's let's find out about the EVs here. Uh, it doesn't seem like they were changed. None of the evolutions were changed, it seems. Like, at least their stats. From a first glance. Huh. All right. So it's not like Flareon's faster. So Flareon is out. Yeah, I went to college with with Sal, with Spec. And girl, want to come back to my place and play bingo battle? You already know. Halloween weekend. I think I'm gonna go with. You know what? I'm gonna poll chat just as we just like sh sit here and do absolutely nothing. That didn't work. This isn't Twitch. I'm a moron. I'm, I told you guys. I'm. <laughs> Exhausted. Ah. 
<laughs> it doesn't work that way. It's a Friday. I, it is a Friday. I literally have a I have an appointment tomorrow with a client though, so it's not actually Friday for me. Um, I'm so silly. I would have come up with something more creative than Vaporeon and Umbreon. Now that I'm thinking about it, I would have thought Underwater Doggo slash Lunar Doggo. But Flareon has 110 Spadef. It's a good resistance. It's a good resistance to, like, you know, fairy moves, maybe. Why is Flareon not an option? Because it's based, like, 60. What's my favorite Pokemon game other than the GameCube ones? Ooh, well, the goats. Emerald, platinum, black, and white, too. See, it. nothing comes even close to that. I don't. Heart, gold, soul, silver. Stop it. Black and white. Good. Needs more dex diversity. Don't you dare. Don't you dare say anything else. Don't say sword and shield. Don't say. Don't. Hey. Oh. Vape Nation. Actually, we named our Vaporeon Vape God in the OG XD Nuzlocke. The whole point of BW was making you use their decks. True. It is no, it is a soft soft reboot. Soft reboot. Emerald's pretty dope. Emerald Emerald is great. Uh 68% say Vaporeon. I want to get on the road. Uh, you know, so we're just gonna we're gonna get a waterstone. You're just glad chat's voting for the second best evolution. Well, who's the best evolution, and why is it not Glaceon? Jovi, you don't get anything. Jovi's like, I want something. Jovi, you don't have a Pokemon, and you don't have a stake or say in this story. Please, stop following me. Uh, Jolteon, uh, Jolteon's too frail. I mean, if Volt Switch might exist, to be fair. Oh, let me see. My about me still says heft TV. What, where's that? Where's the where's the about me? We have three potions as well. Oh wait, hold on. Does Zigzagoon have pickup? Hold up. Zigzagoon literally has something. The hyper potion. Bet about on YouTube. Oh okay. I be. Whoa. Just a little spike of lag there. I don't know what the heck. Glaceon is dummy. Alright, we're going to end the poll because we literally already took the Waterstone. So, thanks everybody for voting who voted. Wow, incredible. Great job. Great job, 30. Flareon is snuggly. I agree. We got 5k. Alright. Are we going to have to come up with some type of nickname theme? Or are we just going to wing it? I could also do it based on like like memberships or something. I mean, that's the that's the real the the money driver, you know, but like that's not really what I want to do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's Bob. Oh no. The girl started asking what bingo battle was. Is that girl watching me stream? And she is she upset that I'm not streaming Pikmin? YouTube bit war? We don't have bits. Bob's scary. Bob terrifies me. Eevee literally has hyper voice too. And you know what that means? That means that Vaporeon has hyper voice. Coming off a of base 110. Special attack? Ridiculous. So yes, we are gonna be using every single Pokemon. And that's not usually how a Nuzlocke works. Um, but in this game, they die quick. Believe me. At least she knows what Pokemon is vaguely. Fair. Okay. Krabby Mucho dead. Wait, is Hyper Voice not a... Oh, I was going to say, is it not a spread move? It is a spread move. Uh, Also, do we have adaptability? Because that did far too much damage. Just a girl you work with. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Yo, you... <laughs> okay, all right. You can't be a mod if you're going to be capping. First, he says, I'm FaceTiming a random girl. The first message in this whole string. 
And now, all of a sudden, it's a girl he works with. Okay, random. Sure. Sure, random. Yeah. Yeah, definitely not on freaking Omegle. Tong doesn't... Tong only sometimes caps. I'm pretty sure we get, a, like, a Meryl from this person, too. That's all I literally know about this. You typed random to make her... Oh, wow. Okay. All right. It's a, it's a Friday. It's getting close to your birthday, big dog. Wait, I'm sorry. Do I need to... I don't believe you. Yeah, I'm going to fight you. We killed Luke Dobson. We have to find the killer. Carrot Louie, thank you so much for the donation. How do I feel about sun and moon? Well, I like them, actually. Um, it's it's. I don't know if it's an unpopular opinion, but I actually really think they were doing mostly good things. Right? Like, when it comes to advancing the Pokemon franchise, going from X and Y to Sun and Moon is an incredible step up. Because, you know, totems were ambitious. Uh, the bad guys were pretty decent. The themes are great. Pokemon are great. Alola's super interesting compared to other regions, too. Um, it, it does need a, a skip cutscene button. It, it absolutely does. Why no helping hand EV Cyber Voice? Uh, I didn't think about it. I don't know. It worked out anyway, you know? Ends justify the means, right? We just absolutely bodied Bill, so hell yeah. Could use a random word or name generator, make two names, then maybe have chat vote on it. It will be a while until we're able to uh, name our Pokemon uh, as well. Because we need to get to Agate, I believe, and Agate has the name raider. You just typed Angie and XD in the same sentence. Obviously, you should have typed XG. Yeah, probably. Ultra Sun and Moon had better encounter um, diversity. But, like, I don't know. Sun and Moon did it better, I think, with, like, the Ultra Space and, you know. Oh. Their decks were diabolical. Hmm. Like, Baja Blast? It's okay. I could base the names on the trainer I take them from. So that would work, but I'm pretty sure we can get multiple shadow Pokemon from each trainer. It's not like Colosseum in the sense where they each can only have one. Um, they can have they can have more than one. So just a girl I work with, you know, just silly. Oh yeah, this guy has a hat. And uh he's gonna give us I don't know, something for our mom. <laughs> this, the beginning part of the story is so like cute but it's like it's like okay like we get it you know it's like oh the professor just got kidnapped we need a machine part <laughs> why is this the priority like call the call the police call somebody right there's and, and don't say there's not police in pokemon there's literally a police station later in this game please Oh, Vanjie's not a mod? Yeah, Vanjie needs to be a mod. Hold up, hold up. Vanjie... Add mod. There he is. Perfect. GG, everyone. Easy. Easy clap. Your favorites? You like trials more than games? Z-moves, I think, are lame as shit. But that's just me. And they take a very long time, and they're overpowered. It's literally everything wrong with gameplay it is in a Z-move. Not terrible in competitive. Uh, I do like the ability to kind of blow past things, but... Other than that, not entirely sure. Not sure why they have me on this case. True. True, true, true. Element gems. Dude, I swear there was other, like... There's other trainers. We gotta get the quote-unquote... Well, it's usually a Poochie and a Lediba. Um, but we'll, we'll do that. So we'll start moseying. Haven't been around lately, streaming platform, but thank you. I got you. It's all good. Life gets in the way. I wish I could consume more content too, but unfortunately, I have to do real life things like earn money and make my own content. 
which is lame, you know. Being that's that's what people don't talk about, guys. Part of being a content creator is not is is trying to limit yourself from watching as much content like as you do. Cuz you just get like fascinated with the space and like wrapped up in all these like people and things that people are doing, you know? And it's like it's like wow, like that's super interesting, but also you didn't upload a video this week. It's like <laughs> ooh. You know, right? So that's like the whole idea. Uh, we haven't healed our Pokemon. It's not going to be a big deal. I'm just going to say hello. I've played through XD plenty of times. I know almost everything about where things are and what to do. I'm just distracted and very tired. Uh, but no, what I haven't played is XG. Do I kill more Pikmin or Pokemon? For sure, Pikmin. And there's actually... That's so funny you say that, Blue Jay. So there is a video on my channel called How Many Dead Pokemon. And... It goes over a lot of different Nuzlocks that I've had, just like files on my computer. Shadow Meryl, also, by the way, very cool. Uh, not gonna hyper voice because that is a bad idea. Uh, and then I'm gonna click. I'll click Helping Hand, sure. Um, yeah, so the video is called How Many Dead Pokemon? And basically it tallies up every dead Pokemon I have or every run I could find on my, like, computer, like, growing up. Like, all in the death boxes and, and everything like that. So, like, I forget exactly how much it ended up being, but, like, it also kept track of how many of each Pokemon. Shadow Slam. Oh. Okay. All right, um, so yeah, this this is why we're going to be catching everything also. Um, because shadow moves are all super effective. Our defense is 22. Okay, we're both 22. Uh, Eevee. Hold on, does Zigzagoon have Growl? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch Eevee for Tailo. And then I will click Growl. Great, great point. If he goes for um, Zigzagoon right now, that'll be a problem. But otherwise, it'll be it'll be okay. Why are Zigzagoon's colors so dark? I don't think it's that dark. But yeah, so that video exists. But for sure, it's more Pikmin. Just Pikmin 2 Kaizo and Pikmin 2 Lands of Torture alone. And honestly, the, <laughs> the Pikmin 1 randomizer. Go watch that, guys. If you have not seen that video... I mean, it's, so far, it's done well. Really, it's a VOD. It's not a video. But... Um, go watch that because that was super duper fun and very entertaining, uh, for me and, you know, and, and honestly, I, I think chat was pretty, pretty entertained. It was a nice palate cleanser between Lands of Torture and this. Really, really good. That was the, the last thing we streamed, actually. It wasn't Lands of Torture. It was, uh, Pikmin 1 Randomizer. Huge powers, super duper scary. True. Do I have an FAQ for my Pikmin setup? For my Pikmin... Wait, uh... Explain that to me, Stone. Do I have an FAQ for my Pikmin setup and all? Or set up at all? I, maybe I'm not speaking English. Guys, let me know if I'm not speaking English. I'm gonna throw a ball here. If Zigzagoon dies, I'm very sorry. Also, it's really nice because in... XD, and then by extension XG, you don't need to use the uh, first turn to always throw the ball. So you can choose which Pokemon uh, on your team gets to throw the ball. Don't you dare kill my Zigzagoon. I will be so mad at you. Don't kill my Zigzagoon. Don't do it. Tail Get used to this. Shadow moves are super buffed in XG. The amount of faints you had are so many. Yep. Yep, exactly. Uh, I'm going to use... I'm going to use Talos spot to throw a ball here. We're going to need to buy more, I think. Uh, and I think I'm going to growl again. In hopes that if he does target Zigzagoon, it'll just be fine. Just watching the Pikmin 297 speed run. And Jesus, that Water Wraith moment. I know. Legendary, honestly. It's very silly. Looks like you can't finish the stream. That's okay. We'll be around for an amount of time. 
unspecified. Actually, I don't know. Yo, we're dodging out here. Let's go. That's super sick. Do I have an FAQ for what I use to run Pikmin 2, like specs or emulator? So, I mean, I own the game. Uh, by extension, you know, because I own the game, I'm allowed to modify it to my heart's content. This is a long-winded way of saying I use Dolphin. Um, Dolphin emulator. It's version... 5.015105 and I just found a Pikmin 2 ROM uh, probably again hate to say it because the comment section's being really mean about it but like Google <laughs> the comment section's not happy with me saying guys like it's really not that hard to find you guys aren't happy about it I'm sorry and I, I do apologize maybe it's a little dismissive but like it's also like pretty easy I don't know like if I figured it out when I was, like, 14, I, I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, Dolphin Emulator, as well as just, like, finding a... Make sure it's a .iso file. Um, a .7z also works if it opens into a .iso, if you have, like, a um, an unzipper. But don't know why they'd be upset about having to use Google. Well... You can't please everybody. And that's something you, you learn. I mean, especially guys, and you guys obviously know this, in the last X amount of uh, streams, also, I'm going to check out this, Meryl. You know, obviously the channel has been doing uh, pretty well. Quiet, very terrible. Brave is not that good either. Mild, bold. As a content creator, you cannot please everybody. Exactly. So, like, the channel has been growing, which all that means is that we're getting more engagements and we're getting more comments. And, you know, let's say 2% of comments, let's say 2% are negative, right? If you get 100 comments, that's only two negative comments. But if you get 1,000 comments, that's 20. And, you know, they start to, they start to add up. This, the center's down this way. I always forget about that. So, like, and, and sometimes they're very, like, you have to, like, stop yourself. You have to be just like, okay, this person very clearly either one doesn't know what they're talking about or is just too being an internet person to be an internet person, you know? And you, you can't you can't engage it. You can't entertain it because it's just not how it goes, you know? We also have to go to the top of that tower. I just wanted to make sure I healed. Uh, I'm going to get more balls too because we wasted two on Meryl. But yeah, you can't please everybody as a content creator. If I included it, somebody would say, oh, you know, you're spreading, you know, uh, illegal ROMs. I need to report you. And I'm sorry, you don't have Pokeballs? Can I not get Pokeballs? Uh, maybe it's upstairs. Yeah, dot ISO, not EXE or PNG. ISO, exactly. Big, big point. He doesn't stock them right away. Uh oh. We have a single Pokeball? Okay. Good to know. Good to know. These are kind of fun things that happens. Carrot Louie, thank you so much for the $1.26. That's very cool. Well, you don't think it's illegal as long as I don't specifically send this site a ROM. Exactly. But people want me to, like, like, chill out these games that I play. And it's like, no, just, just Google it. It's the first link. Like, it just is. You know? Like, it's not my job to promote a game that, one, isn't mine, but two, like, I don't want to say it could get me in trouble, because that's being very, like, narkish about it. But, like, I don't know. It's, like, it's just, you know, it's, I don't know. It's a whole thing. Anyway, that's beside the point. We're in Gatonport. This is a very cool area added in Pokemon XG. Uh, XD, rather, rather, rather. Uh, there's an old man with a Magnemite. They're living alone. They're, they might be married, honestly. I have, I have no idea. The other ability for Meryl was Sap Sipper. I kind of like that, actually, considering we have a uh, Vaporeon. You know, that kind of complements it a little bit. Huge for the program. <laughs> huge! <laughs> Yo, the compilation of me saying huge for the program with every single um, uh, bitter spray that dropped. Unbelievable. Those lands of torture, uh, that, that video, that supercut's going to be great. Because uh, everything is top of mind, and... I've already, like, because I did, I went through, I did the treasure guide, I've already taken notes on, like, a lot of the funny moments, and I asked my members, 
uh, in like a member's post saying like, hey, what are your favorite moments from Lands of Torture? Like, what should I include? And you guys gave me a lot of really good ideas. So thank you all so much for that. That was like maybe a week ago or so. Uh, always tons of stuff to do. But for now, we play silly Pokemon game with child with yellow vest and orange hair. How do I feel about Snaggerhold Dumplefloor? Still makes me upset. I rewatched it and I got upset. <laughs> like, I got secondhand upset watching myself go through it. I was like, oh, I was like, that's just terrible. I'm like, oh, wait, I literally did that. <laughs> like, I, I literally was the one playing, you know? And it's just so funny when, like, those kinds of moments happen. So I recommend you download Illegal Pikmin. Nope, definitely didn't say that. I also don't know what would make that illegal necessarily. A Game Freak remake of XD and Coliseum would be disappointing. Yeah. Well, I mean, all of the um, models are better from this 2005 GameCube game than the current models in Sword and Shield. Um, but the Distant Kingdom's not here. He was here, you know, one of those Pikmin 2 Lenses torture streams. He popped in. You guys don't know who Distant Kingdom is? He is a Pokemon content creator a uh, well-known Sword and Shield um, criticizer, game freak despiser, and I vibe with him. I agree with pretty much everything he said. And it's not just like a complainer. He does a lot for the community. And, uh, and it's very cool. Modern models are fine. It's the animations that aren't good. Okay, sorry. I take it back. You're right. You're right. You're right. It's the animations that aren't good. You're, you're, you're absolutely right. Super Flogs, that's a great point. It's a great point. Are the animations like more polished for the GameCube spinoffs? Well, the GameCube spinoff games compared to the main series Switch games from 14 years in the future. Well, yeah, Game Freak didn't develop the GameCube ones. But the models were ripped from, um, or some of them, Gens 1 through 2, Pokemon Stadium. Pokemon Stadium 2. Oh, it is still a Poochiena. Holy moly, that lady is jacked. Yeah, she is absolutely ripped. Dude, all the, I have to know what Shadow Stealth does. High priority tackle while casting a shadowy aura. It's Shadow Quick Attack? That's busted. Alright, hell yeah. Uh, I'm gonna jet pooch. Did a lot. Animations have no personality now. Honestly, they just need to crank up the saturation value, dude. They just gotta up the saturation and contrast and a lot of the models and will just look better. Like, look at, like, Marsh Top or, like, uh, 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 Shiftry. Like, nothing's vibrant anymore. Like, it all just looks very toned down. And, like, they forgot to add, like, shading, you know? I just, I don't know. There's no love anymore. It's very corporate. Like, I get it. I, I, I do. I, I understand it, but it's still sad. Yeah, look, look, look at this. Look, look at this dying animation. What does Zubat do now? I don't know. Small small indie devs, we can't hold Nintendo to such a high degree as to expect innovation in their models and animation. Definitely not. It's too much. Best place to find Pikmin 2 for the Wii's Vim's Lair. Swiggle, very true. Very true. I think that's where I actually got... Um, this one for this game that I'm playing now. Wait, hold on. Let me let me growl just to make sure. This is also very, not very. It's easier so far than uh, Grand Coliseum was. What ROM hacks am I looking forward to? Any game? Uh, Pikmin 216, Pikmin S, Pikmin New Year, uh, Platinum Kaizo. Sinister Hooded Figure. Um, Sacred Gold and Storm Silver redone. And more. I don't know anything else that's really, like, going on. Like, I have, I have trouble keeping up with uh, with the scene. Oh, Pikmin Squared, too. Totally forgot about Pikmin Squared. And in fact, like, so, so Pickhacker said it was coming Q1, which is quarter one, which is January, February, or March of 2023. So who freaking knows? Um, who knows if I'll have the chance to play it prior to that. 
because we did briefly mention that. Give us background at Skarmory, like in Gen 5. Bird of Prey. True. High key agree. Yeah, the, the sky battles ruined almost everything about flying types. They look way cooler. Just like, you know, perched. They don't always need to be soaring. Oh, this didn't work. Other ability was Intimidate. Uh... Does Pooch have Intimidate? I know Mighty Yane is the one who gets Intimidate. Missed the chest on the other side of the first floor. No, I don't think I did. I think I got that, Hugo Bracco. But I'll check just for you. Just for you, I'll check. Oh. All right. Very cool. Just for you, I checked. Don't ever say I didn't do anything for you. Right side? Near the stairs. All right, I'm being an asshole. <laughs> it's a rare candy. No shit. Thank you. I don't think I ever knew that was there. <laughs> I had no idea. That's crazy. I go, I know everything about XD. Nope. Very clearly, I don't. No, I'm sure I did. I just, I don't know. I'm making progress. The beginning part of this game is lame and kind of dumb. It only gets really fun when you get to the Cypher Lab. Not only, but... You know what I'm saying. Her name is Karen. Old CRT cranked the gamma way up. Your West had blue hair. That's awesome. Just forgot about Sky Battles. Rulumaru, what's going on? Welcome on in. I, I haven't even looked at like the stats on these guys. Like, very cool. I'm gonna heal first. Gameplay-wise, Coliseum had a better opening hour. Oh, no, for sure. XD, XD kind of stumbles at the beginning and at the end. Citadark Isle is way too long. It's way too long. Couldn't be that hard to make another game with graphics gameplay like this. No, there's literally modelers who are improving these current models in this game. And people who are fixing, you know, Pokemon models in Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, in Sword and Shield. It's just legwork and it's just people and they just refuse to, to do it. It's And it, it amazes me the discrepancy in, like, Pokemon games. Like, some of them will look great. You know, and some of them look really, really cruddy. So, like, for instance, like, Pokemon Snap looks great. Different kind of game, totally. Um, but, like, Sword and Shield, you know. Eh. You'd be willing to sacrifice current-gen graphics for better gameplay, more interesting stories. Uh, black and white sprites are the best way to play Pokemon, period. The animated sprites easily they they hit the middle ground perfectly they just needed to look better from the back the back sprites didn't look so good when you zoomed in when you selected a move um but besides that black and white sprites were the way to go for sure boss battle gauntlet at the end is dead ass one of your favorite parts of any pokemon game though true no it, it is it is cool that you have to fight all of them over again for sure you know, it's made a Magnemite model within an hour that honestly looked better than the one in Legends Arceus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I could learn modeling in, like, 3D animation software and probably make something better within, like, a month. Coming from absolutely nothing. Pokemon Battle Revolution is damn underrated. I hardly ever played Battle Revolution, actually. Crystal Sprites were good sprites. With movement. Yeah. Yeah, that's where they, it was introduced. It was weird that they took it out in Ruby and Sapphire, actually. And then they added it back in Emerald. Very interesting little little tidbit there. Will I go to Agate Village? I guess so. Guys, you think we should go to Agate Village? I think that... I think that it, look, it looks like we need to go to Agate Village. So it's fine. Hey, we have 69 concurrent viewers. LOL. And they took it back out with Leaf Green Fire Red. True. So weird. I guess 
You know what? It's always been going on then. Game Freak has been inconsistent across the board, and it's just something we never noticed till right now. Leaving, we'll be right back from your other account that's subscribed to you. Matt T with the double subscriber. Oh, man. I'm flattered. The animations of Persona 5 Demons are quick and really good. There's no need to make bland animations to make it good. True. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All your Gen 1, 3, and Gen 4 Pokemons from Nuzlocke, it's nightmare difficulty-wise. Yeah, but it sounds like a lot of fun. If I played Fool's Gold... Nope, what is that? Very fun crystal hack. Interesting. I don't play very much Gen 1 or 2, actually. I'll, I'll admit. Um... I usually stay away from them, not because I don't like them, but, like, I don't know. They've been, like, remade, and, like, there's just, there's different ways to play them, and I'm not a huge fan of, like, the spriting, because it's, it's a little before my time, honestly, you know? Like, I started with Gen 3, so, like, it's just, it's just hard. I wonder if this tutor does something different. Pokemon Clover. I have played Pokemon Clover. A move can be taught more than once. Incredible. Oh my god. She has literally... Taunt, Snarl, Rain Dance. She's got the weather moves. How much money to kill a Mon? Uh, if we were to do that, we would do it for, like, charity. Um, because that's not a, uh, a stipulation in our rule set... I'm setting the price at $100 to get rid of a Pokemon. <laughs> Everyone has their price. Actually, no, we need to value each Mon as to what it gives to the team. Each Mon is valued differently. I take it back. Figure out which Pokemon you want to kill, and I'll quote you. <laughs> Zigzagoon needs to learn Icy Wind. Yo, wait, Meryl can't learn Icy Wind? That's, like, super silly and dumb. Uh... I'm going to teach EV Snarl if I can learn it. I can't. Uh, Poochia also. Oh, because it's Shadow. It's Shadow. It's Shadow. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Too late. $100 for the starter. Oh, the starter. The starter? What? Piclopedia. What's going on? Welcome. Pikmin fans eat Pikmin creatures. We all know that's Pokemon fans. Well, they take it a step further. True. How much to get me to kill all my mons resetting to the beginning? Um, well... If I were to quote each of these Pokemon individually, that wasn't an offer. No, I, I didn't. I didn't think so. I didn't. That, it's all all in good fun. It's all in good fun. So, LVP right now, Zigzagoon going rate fifty. Then t no, excuse me, Tailo fifty. Zigzagoon fifty two. Poochyana fifty five. Meryl seventy. Eevee seventy five. Just quoted. Just quoted. That's at this point in the game. Could change. Based on their value. Based on evolutions. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Anyway, so we're getting to the point where we're going to be able to nickname our Pokemon and purify our Pokemon. He's the only member that can learn TMs? Well, that's overrated. Dude. Where are all the fucking Pokeballs? Do we just not get Pokeballs in this game? Who stocks them? Do I need a full team of six or something? Pokemon fans want to eat the Pokemon based on food. No, no. Pikmin fans want to eat the Pikmin. Pokemon fans want to do a way different things to the Pokemon. <laughs> uh, is that train? I don't know what train. Only reason we got through the Meryl fight. Meryl was never a problem. It's fine. It's fine. Ha. You remember buying Pokeballs from the shop NPCs? That's what I'm saying. Are these usable multiple times? Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Thinking. Why doesn't it work? I don't know. The thinking emoji? Is that what you're trying to do? Do you give me a berry? Akaberry. Babiri berry and something else. Oh, 
I missed that last one. Oh, an Aguav. Oh, and a Cherry? Alright, that's actually, like, kind of based. Aguav is actually pretty good. I mean, depending on if it's the Gen 7 Aguav or the Gen 8, uh, it could be really, really good. Because we gotta come up with if there's gonna be a theme or if I should just send it. Doesn't seem like it since they have the X amount you have. Yeah, but that could just be like a graphical thing. What are the level caps? Uh, fantastic question. We haven't hit like a boss. The first boss in my eyes is Lavarina. Um, and that's not for like a while. I think it's 25 is the first cap. But I'll, I'll have to, I'll have to double check. Pokemon fans wouldn't act differently if there wasn't Pokemon like Vaporeon, Gardevoir, and Lopunny. All right. I'm going to say this one time and one time only. I understand Gardevoir and I understand Lopunny, but Vaporeon. <laughs> Come on. Come on. The copy pasta's funny. I get it, but come on, guys. But come on. I understand it, okay? Unlock the Purify Stone to get Pokeballs and Chops. Oh, okay, neat. All right, yeah, let's do that. There's as Jeeves with the copy pasta. Low Pony is the Emperor's Bull Blacks. Ew, I'm sorry. Uh, fighting type move was not cool of you. Did I just double switch? Let's find out what happens here. This will be fine. Everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. We only have two Pokemon weak to fighting on the other side of the field. Meryl should absolutely be here, but we're also Adaptability Hyper Voice. Am I worried? It's a crit. I'm not worried. I'm not worried either. All right, all right, all right. See, see, we're not talking about what Pikmin enemies taste like. We're we're already in there, chat. Get out of there. It's 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 very easy to fall down this discussion. Okay, it's very easy to start talking about it more in depth. But we don't need to do that. We could be better. You and me together. You and me together. Let's talk about Pokemon XD and let's talk about the fact that we need to talk to an old man. We're going to go talk to an old man. And Meryl can now be purified. Very cool. Why would you eat the Pikmin? Because the enemies eat the Pikmin. It sounds good. Bella? Her name's not Bella. It's Belu, right? Egan. His name is Egan. His name's correct. When am I going to play Pikmin 2 Randomizer? I don't believe it exists, but maybe I'm wrong. Somebody would have to share it with me. Somebody share it in my Discord. One of y'all who's in the Discord, do your thing. Help me help you. Do Pikmin colors taste different? And if so, how? Yeah, they do. They definitely have They have to. One type's literally poisonous. Also, I don't know if it's a good idea to evolve Eevee now. You know what I mean? You love it's a Pokemon game and chat talks about more Pikmin anyway. No, 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 no. That's been that's been the point. It's okay. We I, I kinda spurred it. It was kinda my bad. It was kinda my bad, Anthony. Don't worry. I don't know what the, um, again, level up move sets. I see, like, this, the stats table. But it doesn't show me their level up move sets, though, which is, like, so interesting.
There's a trainer's list. I mean, I guess... It's not like Radical Red, right? We can just kind of send it. Am I planning to purify my Shadow Pokemon? You know what? That's a really good question. Because I'm considering not purifying some of them. I'll purify Poochiena definitely because I want it to evolve. I don't know. Maybe I won't purify Taylor. Leafeon is best companionship, doesn't poop for pee, can survive the water, soil, and sun. No need for dog food, can be a good air cleaner. Well, XD is just the better game. Does this hack follow Gen 7 or Gen 8? I imagine Gen 8. I'm pretty sure Gen 8, but I'm not positive. Also, I could just jet. I'm very silly. I should just jet. I'm literally not even paying attention to the game. Also, that didn't kill. That's so silly. Stop being unstable. We don't talk about Glaceon here. If we talk about Glaceon, the only way we talk about Glaceon is negatively. Lavrina's documentation is so infuriating. Yeah, I also uh, saw that. I also saw that when I looked at the cap or the uh, yeah, because I was looking for the level caps. I didn't have time before the stream. Basically, caps twenty five. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Which is very strange because all that means is that we're straight up gonna need to like not level our Pokemon. I think. No respect for Glaceon after watching Small Ant's no-hit platinum video. I've never had respect for Glaceon. Ever. I think its bangs are stupid. I think its color's boring. I think evolutions of every other type are better designed. I think that I don't like its hair. I don't like its tail. I don't like its face. I don't like its moveset. I don't like its stat spread. I don't like what the internet's done to it. I don't like his type. <laughs> I don't like how late you get it in the game. Can I just keep going? What's my favorite evolution? A Jolteon. It's Jolteon. Followed very closely by Leafeon. No. By Leafeon, then Umbreon. Not Sylveon. Definitely not Sylveon. Screw Evolutions. That's what I'm saying, dude. It's my favorite Rotom form. Rotom Mo, I think. I think I like Rotom Mo's design the most. Yeah, Rotom Mo. Oh, actually, you know what? No, I think it's Rotom Heat, maybe. Rotom Mower Heat. Mower Heat. Mower Heat. Mower Heat. What am I doing? I want to... Um... Get my Pokemon out of the stupid mode that they're in. But I can't do that. Not being in a battle. Wash Tom's good too. Yeah, but we see a lot of Rotom Wash. You know? Rotom Mo because of the smile. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. My thoughts on Sylveon. I hate its flesh ribbons. We were talking about 2% of comments earlier, right? How sometimes there's like, you know, comments that are basically just like either one straight up wrong or two negative. And this was literally both. It was like, because I obviously actively express my dislike um, for certain evolutions and Sylveon included. And so they were like, how could you say like Sylveon uh, has flesh ribbons? Like that's so offensive to like, like the trans community or something. It's like a trans icon. She's like, Alakazam has spoons and like Girder has like, you know, a uh, uh, freaking beam. Like it's the same thing. It's an item. And then it's like, no, dude, like you're just, you're wrong because one, it's in the Pokedex that it's attached to their body. <laughs> and I didn't even need to comment about it. Somebody else already jumped in. And I'm like, two, 
it's a Pokemon. What are you talking about? Like, one, you're wrong, and two, you're really wrong. We're back on this topic. What topic? Here we are. Pikmin. People have to ruin the evolutions on the internet by sexualizing them. They do. They do. Pokemon literally describes them as feelers. Exactly. Also, uh, Taylor almost did the die. Um, fuck. Is Taylor gonna do the die? Because I'm not paying attention and I'm ranting about, uh, Levion? No. Okay. We need to get Taylor out of there. We need to get Taylor out of there. God, I'm gonna need to like really start paying attention here. I'm so silly. No first death. Hey, we're fine. Everything is fine. Don't pursue me. Thank you. Gem Fury. Hello there, everyone. I wish you all the best of days and that your day only gets better from here. Based. This is not rude. The flesh rude. Says, yeah, it's just not rude. It's just, it's just true. It's just, I just ripped it straight from the decks. You can't get mad at a Pokédex. You just can't. It's just the colors. Ah, oh, okay. Well, all right. There's another Pokemon on screen right now who better represents it. And their name is Snubble. Way better Pokemon. Change, change the icon. Snubble. Underrated. I'm actually a Snubble fan, guys. I am a Snubble fan. You guys like Snubble? You guys like Granbull? Of course, Granbull's a little bit better. Yeah, there should be two icons, totally. You know what? Honest, it's a it's a dog and it's like a cat. So it's, you know, they could just they could work together, you know? Two sides of the same coin. It's beautiful, honestly. It's kind of poetic. Uh baby doll eyes. Snubluff, bad. Poor Snubluff. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh wait, it was Headbuck? Yeah, I'm going to stop learning baby doll eyes. We don't need that. That's going to... Oh, no. Sylveon doesn't exist. <laughs> I was literally like, that's going to turn me into a Sylveon if I learn that. Does It's literally... There's no Pokemon after Gen 3 in this game. There's not. Sorry. Meryl is also... Well, Meryl doesn't have any pink, though, does it? Or... I mean, that's got white, I guess. Actually, I wonder if you can get a Gramble in XG base. Is it 130? Is it 130? It's 120 in the base games, but 130 would be really sick. And physical fairy type is just a dope idea. We need more that aren't just like Slurpuff and Granbull. Eh, Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl exists. They're, they're doing better with the fairy type, I think. There's also Pokemon that probably should have been the fairy type that were not made the fairy type. They did a pretty good job. Like, for for instance, like, why was Mr. Mime made the fairy type? But then, like, like, Chimeco wasn't. I don't know. Forgot about Azrael. Azrael. Azrael's also a cutie. Azrael's a cutie pie. Hope we never get a fairy ground type. No! Fairy ground would be great. What is Chimeco again? It's the one that looks like a wind chime. Uh, being that Nintendo is a company from, uh, Japan, I have a feeling that there is a, uh, low probability that that's something that they took into account when designing that Pokemon. Chimeco is a psychic. I know, it's only psychic, but that's what I'm saying. I think Chimeco should be a fairy. Chimeco should be a fairy type. Should just completely change. Like how Clefable went from normal to fairy. Chimeco should go from psychic to fairy. Vanilla would be a fun fairy type, honestly. With snow warning, that might make it kind of crazy, though. 
You think Alamomola should get some love too? No, that Pokemon can kick rocks. That Pokemon is the most obnoxious thing in the entire world. It's ugly. It's got Regenerator. It's got huge HP and defense. It's got access to Pivoting and Wish. No. No. If you've never been stalled out by an Alamomola, you've not learned to hate that thing. Dark Normal Zangoose would be cool. Why did we give it flip turn? <laughs> Great question. Good question. Game Freak. But then they didn't give it to, like, other Pokemon that probably could have used it more. But I don't know. What about some Love Disc Love? I, d I like Love Disc in ROM hacks. Lots of ROM hacks make Love Disc kind of fun and cool. Besides that, I hate that thing. Give Squirtle flip turn? Does Squirtle not have flip turn? You know what? It doesn't. No, it must not. No, it doesn't. It definitely doesn't. No, de no, scratch that. I know it doesn't. I know it doesn't. I'm thinking about it in my head. Dunsparce needs an Evo. Yo, I mean, Scarlet and Violet. Frigoref. I don't know, dude. I don't know. We're getting there. Quick attack you and shadow slam you and call it a day. What do I think about shiny hunting? Yo. Any shiny hunters in chat? I'm not going to get into it. I have a lot of opinions. Not all of them perfect. Actually, all of them perfect. Some of them very cynical, but not all of them uh, are bad. Any shiny hunters? Shiny hunters in chat? Anybody currently shiny hunting as they watch this stream? Some people are saying Dunsparce got an evolution. That's not a spoiler, it's just speculation. But some people are saying that. Shiny Gengar bad, true. Will I ever need my run counter? Yeah, the beginning of this game's been... I don't say easy. It's been, it's been easy. It's been... I haven't had to think. I've been just rambling. No shiny hunters in chat. Keeping only one Shadow Pokemon in battle might be a good idea to keep them out of rage mode. Does that happen? Only the beginning of XG? Do I have to fight uh, Pikachu Man? Not representative of the future. Perfect! We've been having a very clear lack of suffering in this game. And uh, my chats noticed it. Very clearly. You can call an attack on the same turn. Oh, true. True, 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 true. I didn't... Okay, the way you... I think I read it was like it's a mechanic that if like a shadow Pokemon's next to another shadow Pokemon, it's more likely to go into hyper mode. Reverse mode. Yeah, reverse mode. I don't know why they changed it. Whatever. Uh... It... <sighs> what level are you? I'm I'm sorry. What? I was We just got done with a battle with a level 13 and 14. Egan shows up with a level 25. Uh I could baby doll eyes. Ooh. I mean, we Probably all live a single hit. I think I'm going to Shadow Fang instead. Let's find out. Oh, Fake Out. Uh-oh. Wait. Hold on. Does he have a Light Ball? That doesn't seem like Light Ball damage. I should have Hyper Voiced, probably. Uh, I'm all Hyper Voiced now. And I want Pooch. Who has bigger defense, I guess? 25 and 35. 22, 43. For bold nature. But if he goes for a special move... I still think I switch to Zigzagoon just in case. If Thunderbolt hits... 
Thundershock. We live that. Now we live it. Do you know how much damage that did? Did, 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 did 29. As a crit. Wait, was that a... I played around the crit. Yeah, I didn't even know it. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, we go for headbutt again here, and I click... Protec. Get used to this. There's another fight like this. No spoilers. Got it. Smack him in his face. Ouch. Not enough to kill baby. GG easy. Yo, with the Rampardos emotes, guys, if you're members, show Rampardos some love. I don't know how many people actually watched Blaze Black, but that thing carried our run for like five badges on accident. The most legendary Pokemon in the history of the channel, I think. Um, or at least up there, maybe top five. I'm sorry, where are we? What, what's happening here? What, what's happening here? Oh, he wants me to purify the dudes. Okay, hold on. Let's do it. Actually, Shashi the Sudabudo is also there. Uh, definitely going to move... Yeah, definitely going to have Meryl. Purified. Can I show you the Mon being good? The amount of quick claw pops. He saved the run three different occasions. It, it was comical. The run, the run should have died. It just kept going. We just got play rough. We're at level 17. What? Where's it? Okay. Sure. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to pee. Chat. Chat. Go crazy here. I think what we're going to do... I don't think we're going to have any nickname theme. I'm not a fan of nickname themes. But what I really like are random good names. Please, toss all these names out here. I don't want a theme... Just, just throw them. Just throw them at me. Go, go absolutely crazy as I pee and grab my water bottle. Okay? Does that sound good? That sounds good.
It keeps going. Bluebert. Oh my god. Wait. Oh my. Oh man. Who became a member? Max? Max Tornell. Okay. Where is Prog Champ? I actually like. We'll see. It it might be in the works. Also, welcome, welcome to Big Heifer Tower, the program. Hold on, Azu, you guys keep going. You, you really were tossing them at me. Okay. I do like the program, but then we can't just say we chose Louis. Louis. Peekaboo is lame. Peekaboo is lame. We don't need a poll. It's, it'll take too long. I kind of like Louie. <laughs> it's a it's a male. Okay. I mean, not that it matters. We're doing all uppercase. Pika Bluey's not bad. Bluey's... Mm, we could have Vaporeon be the program. Sure. Deal. I like that idea. But you teleported me back here? You silly guy. Darn no cheese. Well, yeah, there's no, I don't want to say there's no food in my house. I don't have time to make food. Unless I took like an actual break. I don't want to take an actual break though. All the Pikmin memes live on in Pokemon. They're channel memes. Don't worry guys. It sticks around. It's cross, cross game. No rules. Um, I'm terribly, terribly tired. Let's see now, folks. We're gonna purify Taylor. Well, mm, well, we're gonna purify Mighty Aina first. Then we're gonna purify, um, I don't know when we'll purify Taylor. I kind of want to keep it because it'll just help it like defensively, but it's also very frail anyway. I think Louie's going to be in the new game. I mean, I certainly hope so. I absolutely hope so. But uh, for now, we're going to purify this man's. Oh, we can't be open yet. We're just going to run around in circles then for X amount of time until it happens. So name it Tweet This. Can't wait for Muck. Yeah, we get a Muck. Very cool. Told you. Easy. Hopefully no mods die while you're gone. We'll see. An XG amount of time. <laughs> I should name the muck me six. I'll consider it. Well, actually, you know what's funny? We name um Shroomish and Breloom me six. In our um, I don't remember what it was. Was it Radical Red? No, it wasn't Radical Red. What the hell? What run was that? That wasn't the route lock. Oh no, it totally was the route lock. Alright. Throw the names at me, chat. I want to see some good stuff. Usually we name these things Boofy. You know, like, like Woof, but with a B. But... I'll leave it up to you because I'm munching and I want to just take a second for my mental. <sighs> Wolfie VGC cracks me up. <laughs> Wolfie VGC cracks me up so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I have I have to go with Wolfie VGC. That may, that's so funny. And also, I just shrunk the window a little bit. Okay, there we go. There it is. I have to go Wolfie VGC. That's that's a great nickname. Good good job. For sure, good job. I don't know Wolfie personally. Um, certainly a goat. Definitely. Even though I like his second channel's content more. Sorry, Wolfie. 
Sorry, Wolf. Your second ge- your second channel's content's better than the first channel at this point. We've talked about it. We've talked about it being like a very Matt Pat esque scenario. But I digress. I'm going to leave Talo unpurified. We're going to go name Vaporeon. And we're going to go name. Uh, bu- 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 the, the Zigzagoon. World champ difference. True. True. Hello, sir. Ray Narvarez joke? I don't know who that is. Never heard of him. We're going to name this man's the program. Trash Panda for Ziggy. I highly consider Trash Panda. This the pro. Oh, okay. So it needs to be all one word. Uh, I don't know if I like that. We'll have to see how it looks. It just looks like Theprogram. Like it doesn't. It reads as Theprogram. <laughs> program yeah capital letters yeah but I want everything to be uppercase though the program the program huge for the program it could be worse yeah that's fine that's fine that's, I'm good with that no I know they have lowercase letters I don't want to use them. I'm a Gen 3 player, guys. <laughs> Lowercase letters aren't a thing. We play all capitals. <laughs> and what do we name this thing? I, I saw Trash Panda. I don't mind Trash Panda, but it's going to hopefully become a Linoon, which means that it'll no longer be a raccoon. Unless it is. Is Linoon a raccoon? Now that I think about it. Or does it evolve into something different? It doesn't look like a raccoon. It's more like an ermine, if anything. Or a furret. Jerry. I don't mind Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> Linus. Ziggy Marley. You? You? I don't know what you're chatting, but uh, you're in Japanese, my, my guy. Or maybe not Japanese. I'm not appropriating. It just looks like it's foreign characters. Linus Tech Tips. <laughs> Linus te- I'll name him Tech Tips. How's that? How, how's that? I'll name him Tech Tips. All right, easy. Easy, easy, easy. And then, in the meantime, guys, come up with some nicknames for Talo. We're not going to purify him just yet because I want to have him as a uh, switch. You're going to be so sad when these mods die. Me too. But also, it'll be okay. I don't mind the, the the Japanese keyboard because it just gives my chat some character. It is Japanese. There you go. Look at me go. Does that make me a weeb or does that make me cultured? Or does it make me both? Or neither? <laughs> you decide. That's an epic rap battles reference. Oh, sheesh. Long way away. Uh, are we going to the Cypher Lab? No, it's Mount Battle. Oh, okay. Interesting. Makes me me. Okay, cool. Uh, the rules tell you to name them so I can cry when they die. True. Wait for the beat to drop. Is the music too low? It's kind of low, isn't it? Now that I'm looking. Can't hear. That's at least a little bit better. 
What music? Uh oh. Uh, that's not necessarily why I had it turned down. But like, it's just interesting to me that certain games are balanced louder than others. Like Pikmin's balanced louder than this game is. That's, I mean, now I know it's better because I'm looking at the levels, but I just I wasn't looking at them previously. A bright powder? E I'm gonna give it to Tech Tips. <laughs> uh, actually, wait, no, no, no. Tech Tips has a uh, pickup, so I actually want, I actually want him to be able to do that with the stuff. I'm gonna give it to uh, the program. Also, I don't know what level it gets water gun at, but I want to make sure that I don't miss that. That's kind of a big deal. Member and dono note of sounds are off? Uh, no, I think they just... I certainly heard them. What? No, I think they're... I think they're still on. I get a polywag. I name it Wally. I like to name my polywags Polly Swag. But that might just be... Might just be me. You've been on YouTube for the past hour. How'd you miss this? I don't know. Good question. Should get water gun when it evolves. Oh, is it programmed to be able to do that? That's not a program joke. <laughs> it's not a program joke. The program. I get it. Haha. -ha. Great stuff. Uh, Level 25. It gets water pulse. Let me look for Eevee. I heard it. I heard the dono sound. Thank you for the dono as well. Um, but I heard it. Did y'all not hear it? Y'all must have heard it. Oh, it's on. All right, cool, 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 cool. Eevee. What does Eevee get? Moves that Eevee gets. Eevee will get swift at level 20. All right, yeah, there's no reason not to evolve, I think, right now. I think I'm just going to evolve it to have just like a, you know... Something strong on the back burner. Being able to come in, eat some hits, get rid of those bangs. Come on. What do we look like, a Glaceon? Turn down my mic. My mic's not that loud. My mic's fine. I'm looking at my levels right now. Turn down your volume. No. <laughs> Uh, I kind of want to sell the rare candy, which is silly. Okay, I literally forget what we're doing, but this is a very unorganized stream. I will admit. Glaceon's the best looking evolution. You will die on this hill. Well, do not let your parents into your search history. Welcome to Mount Battle! Ha ha ha! Yay! Vander's doing something inside. Let's go do it. Turn up my mic or yell to entertain you. Sometimes I whisper to entertain people. Occasionally when I get really upset, I do ASMR. Can I play weird games like WarioWare? I would really love to play Wario World. WarioWare sounds like fun with multiple people. What's in my search history? Bro, Google Glaceon, scroll down. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Warrior World is so cool. Alright, we're done with the... Stop talking about evolutions. It's cringe. 
It's cringe. Skull Dox Box. That's a decent favorite. Espeon's kind of cool. I think Espeon's actually a little underrated. Just not great. Can say that about any Pokemon, really. That is cringe. Have a rotten day. <laughs> How's that? Did you guys like that Wario impression? From Wario World circa 2003? I've played so much. I literally... I'm playing Wario World one day. I'm gonna get... I'm gonna have 15 viewers. And I'm playing Wario World. And I do not care. I'm playing through the whole thing. It's been too long since I played through that game. Wario is my main in Mario Party. Guys, so I want you to know... I want you to know. We were, we've been having Mario Party conversations in the Discord, right? If you're not in the Discord... You're new here, please, you can go join it. I think there's a link in the description. If there's not, uh, it's right on my channel in the bottom right-hand corner up for the banner. Um, lots of fun stuff sometimes, some memes, you know, yada, yada. Um, anyway, we're talking about Mario Party, right? And I used... I'm scared, actually. Not of faint, but of mysterious. I used to main Yoshi in Mario Party. Yoshi's cool. Yoshi's a fun little green dinosaur, you know. Nice character, right? But then, you know, I started playing with my friends, and one of my other buddies, he made Yoshi. And I think he really liked, he, he vibed with Yoshi a little bit more than I did, right? You know, so I was, I gave it up. I gave Yoshi up to him. You can play Yoshi. I'll find another character. And the other character that I found, it's weird that Rattled activated right there. By the way. The other character that I found was Wario. And from that moment on, my personality changed for the better. <laughs> it affected me spiritually. Your Mario Party main says a lot about who you are as a person. And I will die on that hill. Because you don't just switch characters. In Mario Party. You're not just like, oh, I'm going to play Mario, you know, in Mario Party 1. Oh, now I'm playing 2. Now I'm going to play Wal Waluigi. I don't know if he's, he's not in, he's not even in there. Is, is he? Actually, I have no idea. It doesn't happen that way. You stick with your main unless it's a game exclusive character. So, like, you can, you're allowed to play Blooper in Mario Party 8. You're allowed to. Dry Bones, whatever games he's in, you can play him. I won't get offended. But in a limited selection of characters, you're always going to pick the same one in Mario Party. Luigi Man. Jump Man's brother. I love that, actually. Peach, Trans Girl Energy. Peach is a, Peach is a good... A unique main, I think. I think. Nobody plays Mario. <laughs> More people play Peach than Mario, to be fair. Also, we have a uh, dog now. In Mario Party 7, I always choose Jar Bones. Yep, I do too because his orb is busted and I play to win. I'm a Mario Party god. I play to win. Waluigi's the coolest of the four. Wario has the best personality, but Waluigi's, I think... Literally the slavest. Also, I am very scary about this. Koopa Kid Mario Party 6 is neat. Oh shit, it, I wonder if Vander counts as a boss. Probably not. I didn't count him as a boss. But I'm going to find out here. I should really be doing more prep for this. I'm just going to get bodied as I talk to my chat about Mario Party. I should have done some prep. Ooh, I should have done some prep. Uh-oh. Oh, actually, we don't fight Vander right now. I'm silly. I'm silly. We don't even fight him. No. <laughs> We don't talk about Koopa Kid, but... 
But yeah, we literally take on this guy. It's all good. Mount Wario's evidence. Who's my Mario Kart main? Wario. Wario. In DS, I play Dry Bones because there's the tank, and I love Dry Bones in the tank. But Wario. Wario in the freaking Mercedes, dude. Also, there's more ghosts out here. I don't really want to deal with that. Anyone main Toad? Toad's interesting, because Toad, like, really bounces back and forth between a host and a player. Oh, wow, that did, uh, some damage. I wonder what that was. I wonder if that was, like, hidden power poison. And the tank is great for off-roading, true? Yep, that definitely on Vaporeon. Mario Kart with members would be real cool. I would love to play some Mario Kart. Um, obviously, it'd have to be eight, but I would. Uh, I would never say no. But it's a matter of time. It's hard. It's hard because like I just, I just don't have the time. Not to organize things. I need. I need a team, which will help. Need some some people. Oh my God, we have Moxie. I I thought we had rattled. When did we get Moxie? Unbelievable. Sure. <laughs> okay. Yo, that's the goat. That's that world champ difference right there. Let's go. I mean, it's not great. It's worse than Intimidate for sure. But. I mean, Moxie is still not a bad ability. I don't know. You still have Mighty Ian on your team? Let's go. See, I'm just curious because I don't know exactly how much is translated directly from, you know, the regular games. Versus, like, who's buffed. You know what I mean? Like I'm just taking a look at the um like these Pokemon stats. Just to just to check. Yeah, some of them are slightly altered. Some of them aren't. Some of them definitely are. Raichu with 113 wait no. Yeah, Raichu with 113 base speed. That's so random. Just three points into its speed stat, sure. Huh, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever, dude. I got the changes up. Could I also do Mario Party with viewers? See, that's really tough because Mario Party is a four-player game that takes hours. I would say a cart with viewers is significantly more likely than Mario Party. I think, Mar I think that um, Mario Party with viewers is just something that logistically could not happen. If I were to play Mario Party, like, on stream, it would probably be with people that, like, I know, you know, IRL. Or at least in the online space well enough, you know? Like, it's a short list. And here we go these guys they don't know how to count they don't know how to count the theme actually goes crazy They're like, wait. Love the Hexa Brothers. 
Yeah, I like them. I like them definitely. So because we're catching every single Pokemon, guys, I don't know if you knew that, by the way. I've said it earlier, but we're catching every single Pokemon because a lot of Pokemon die in this game. Uh, I'm going to start with the Green Man. Because we have a pretty good matchup versus Green Man. Trico and Shedot. I wonder. It's time to name things. Well, they have to be deshadowed first before we can actually name them, though. That's the thing. That's right. That's right. That's my boy. That's my boy right there. That's my boy. Oh my god, he's level 17. Uh, I'm going to protect. It's kind of dangerous here. Wait, this is like really dangerous. We kind of like need to level up a little bit. Shadow Whip? Uh, that's terrifying. Um. Okay. Only has two Pokemon. Only two. That's fine and all. I'm going to switch Zigzagoon for the... Vaporeon. Actually, no. I'm going to switch it for Talo, because Talo will at least resist it. Aren't I only supposed to catch one per area? Exactly. The rules are changed because of how... It works because double battles are one more volatile two there's not nearly as many areas and three it's still just as difficult that is absurd they're really easy to catch okay that's really also good to know but yeah so that's like the one major alteration that we make is that we can catch everything just one time did I ever get my pokeballs no but I certainly will all right Taylor's gonna use you're still in your goddamn mood, Taylor. Okay. I'm going to Super Fang, Trico, and Stealth the C Dot. I never called this thing out of its mood. It's going to be fine. It, I'm not going to call Taylor. No, 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 because then C Dot could do stuff. Then we get hit twice. This will be fine. Yeah, we're fine. It's all good. No problems. No problems. I feel like I should train a little bit, but I also don't want to hit the cap, you know? Hitting the cap would uh, not be ideal. Those shadow Pokemon are just in a trophy box that you cannot use and must simply purify. Uh, have a, Have to try to get everything? Oh, yeah, like, if we fail getting this Trico, like, say, for instance, we kill it, we've forfeited it, period. Like, we will no longer be able to get Trico at all. But, like, after playing Grand Coliseum and doing kind of the same thing, I know for a fact that this system, it's pretty balanced. And especially considering this game's longer... I'm not sure how many shadow Pokemon there are, and it may be the wrong way to play it, but it's certainly not like, you know, a regular XD Nuzlocke where you only get, I don't even know, is it 13 Pokemon? It's like not very many at all. Like we wouldn't be able to get through the game with only 13 Pokemon, I don't think. I mean, you, I'm sure I beat Pokemon XD, you know, with uh, 13. Yeah, I've done it before done it before had double the shadow mons of Casio. yes but also this has double the gameplay and also i think it's harder than grand Kalo. but again i don't know for sure we have to find out we'll have to find out they changed the x and the d and d to an emote <laughs> 120 or 128 and hack oh 120 or 128. That's so many. That 
That's so many. Well, how many of those are like available during the main game? Because, like, Grand Coliseum, we only got, like, 30 to 40. Maybe we need to reapproach the rule set? 120 is a lot. 120 is definitely a lot. That's way too many. Most of them. Oh, boy. We might have to do some retooling. I didn't know a ton about this. I think the rules should still apply, at least for now. Yeah. And also, it's like we could get wiped as well. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like, it's not like oh, we are going to lose five Pokemon every battle. But, like, we could just lose this the, a battle. We could lose a single battle and the run's over, you know? Like, wiping is the equivalent of having to restart. You've beaten Snaddle in Phoenix City and have encountered 36 Shadow Pokemon. That's, like, as many. We also have to realize that 25 to 30 of these mods are available within the last hour. Oh, you're saying, like, like in Citadark Isle? They beef the absolute hell of the Poke Spots. They have tons of Pokemon, as they should. As they should. Uh, I really need to call Taylo. <laughs> I need Taylo to be snapped out of this nonsense. You're saying day like it's freaking Pikmin. Hilarious! We got him. Guys, we literally got spec to convert to the dark side. The dark side being the most successful content on my channel being Pikmin. <laughs> That's not the dark side. It's actually not even a little bit. I have so much fun playing Pikmin. It's just like, after playing Lands of Torture, like, you just gotta take a break from something like that, dude. You just have to. Just returned any deaths yet? No, no deaths. Now, I'm imagining that this Torchic is gonna be the Shadow. Wow. Crazy. Shadow Torchic's kind of busted. If he's going to have um, speed boost, it's super duper busted. Oh my god, that did... Dude, that did 23. I mean, I get he's three levels above and super effective, but like, holy crap. A year hiatus of Pikmin until four. I don't think my people would be happy with about, about that. It does have speed boost. It's a she. I'm sorry. I don't look at the stupid character. Gender doesn't matter, guys. Come on. I mean, it matters. That's not what I mean. <laughs> now you know that's not what I mean. Imagine us having speed boost Blaziken. True. True. Cancel me. Do it. Cancel me. I'm on Twitter. You can't cancel me. I'm on Twitter. I'm uncancelable now, didn't you know? <laughs> oh my god, it still does so much! People calling a Pokemon he when there's clearly a female symbol? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I- I have trouble, okay? I- I pretty much actually always refer to every single Pokemon as he. Even if they carry more classically femme traits. It's just, it's just, it's an interesting commentary thing that I think I do. I just don't, I don't pay enough attention to minor details like that in the game that I talk about it. Torchic is an issue, hope I have enough balls. I have all the balls, by the way. Pulse that man's, and I click a nice baby doll eyes on torture. Didn't work. <laughs> Didn't work. Shadow Stealth is priority, and it was faster than us, so lol. I'm the least problematic YouTuber ever. I don't know about the least, but I certainly hate shiny hunting. 
which makes me non-problematic. To be fair, most of the time starters are typically male. Exactly. It's hard. It's hard. Commentary is hard. New rules could limit how many balls I throw at Shadow Pokemon. That is a decent idea. I feel like it would be a lot to keep track of. I'm going to... Uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to protect and I'm going to click Super Fang. We could perhaps... This would be really interesting. We could flip a coin to see if we catch the Pokemon or not. Like, if we're allowed to or not. And odds would be we only catch half of them. Right? 50-50. It's actually slightly skewed tails, like very, very, very slightly, just because of the weight of the coin, but not more than a single percent. Anyway, the point is, that would be a really good idea because it would also differentiate each run from the last because certain Pokemon like let's say we have to catch Taylor we have to catch Taylor to begin with let's say we flip the coin oh we can't use Taylor whatever but like some runs we can so we have to play differently depending on what Pokemon we are versus aren't allowed to use and I think that's a really, really interesting idea. I think that's the way I want to do it. I'm going to Super Fang again. Don't crit me. You got 33 out of 82. Yeah, odds are not... They're silly, for sure. Skulldox Bucks 2. Hello. Cheating a certain number of Pokeballs, you get no more. Eh. Most of these Pokemon we can get are fully evolved. So far... It's kind of crazy. Listen, I'm not the one who balanced the game. All right. I'm, I'm just playing it. I'm a lowly content creator. I am not a game developer as much as I, you know, actually, I don't want to be a game developer. I think I do a good job, but like, that's just a lot of work. I have very, um, go inside to heal. I know. Sorry. Sorry. I'm just scared of the indoors. Guys, I'm just scared. I'm just scared. I don't want to be jumped. Don't jump me. Actually, it's not even in here. Wait. Yeah, it's in the other room. It's in here. Yeah, it's in here. Yeah, it's in here. Bet. Time to get the tree. Woo, woo, woo. Is it a Wudo? Because that'd be fun. All right. I'm getting Torchic out of the box. They cut out the second cutscene. What second cutscene? Oh, where you have to open the shutter? Wait, they totally did. I just realized that. Because it's locked usually, right? There's another cutscene of the goons doing the count again. Uh, I think that actually may be only coming out of this door. Oh, nope, they're standing in the... They're standing in a circle now. Alright. Um... Did I get Torchic? I did indeed get Torchic. So, guys, we could retroactively implement this coin rule. Do we do it now? We should do it now. Before we go any further, we need to decide if that's the way we're going to play. But where do we start? Do we always... So, we always start with Eevee and Zigzagoon. Do we maintain those two starters and flip for everything else? I th 
I'm going back in here to listen to the music <laughs> as we talk about it. Start. Start with the rest starting now. No, I want to retroactively do it. I define it as you asked that. Oh. If they're your starters, they're free. They do not get coined. Heads for Ziggy, tails for Eevee. No, 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 no. I feel like an Eeveelution is, like, way too important. I, it's, it's such a... I love it, but, like, they're so unbalanced. Like, if they were relatively even, I'd, I'd get it, right? But they're so uneven. Flip everyone. I think I want to start with both of them, and I think I'll flip for everything else. So let me find a... You don't know what's happening, so good luck and have fun. We are gambling with our Pokemon's lives. Coin flip simulator. All right, I'm, I'm going to find a good one. That one made a noise. I kind of like that. Doing it at this point also means I'm throwing away XP. Yeah, but I don't mind. I don't mind that necessarily. Number of coins. I like... I like this one. I'm going to use this one. Give me a moment. Hold on. If I catch another Pokemon, please name it Alamar. I'll consider it. Do the spinning wheel of names. For what? Who gets Thanos snapped? Out of, out of existence? Hold on, this is something we need to figure out real quick. Give me a second. Currently, oh, uh, what the hell did I just do? I just controlled, yeah, I edited un undo, what the hell, hold on. But what? Where did it go? What just happened? Hold on, I'm a little frustrated. Window capture. This one. Windows 10. Don't capture cursor. Where does it go? Why is it this way? OBS is being wacky. It might be because I'm in studio mode. But it doesn't make sense why it would not show up. It doesn't make any sense at all, actually. Alright, let me click out of studio mode. Okay, yep. So it's right there. It's just a matter of, like, figuring it all out. There we go. All right, we'll just we'll just do it the the good old fashioned way, not in studio mode. Look at the ads, guys. Look at the giant window. Look at what happened here. Heads, hilarious. Here we are. 
flip it. Yeah, fuck studio mode. All my homies hate studio mode. Uh, okay, wait, hold on. Let me, let me refigure out where. Now I need to redesign the whole layout. What? Uh, okay, there's the deaths. The runs, important. I don't need to redesign the whole layout, I guess. Maybe I'll just... Is this going to block a Pokemon? If I leave it right there? Kind of looks like crap. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. There's a way to do this. There's a good way to do this. Let me think about it. Let me think about it real quick. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. I know exactly how to do this. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, it's just not enough. Ugh. Dang it. There's not enough space here. Son of a biscuit, dude. How much do you have to pay me for my layouts that aren't made immediately after they're needed? Uh, wait, I'm, I'm sorry, wait. How much do you have to pay me for layouts that aren't made immediately after they're I'm, I'm so tired. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm like trying, like trying to understand. Like you're saying that because I'm, oh, oh, and it's because it's a window. Oh man, that's going to be so annoying. I'm literally, I could scroll on this window. Oh man, that's, that's terrible. I guess we'll just leave it in the corner. So, like, was the layout immediately needed? When marbles exist, I can't do marbles for every single, hey, let's catch a Pokemon. Let's not catch a Pokemon. Cannot, I can't do that. I get it. It's funny. Definitely not, though. All right. Let's start Thanos snapping our Pokemon. These two are the only ones that are safe. Vaporeon and Zigzagoon. Having layouts prepared ahead of time. How much money would I need to make that happen? Uh, well, this is a very small addition. And it just got confused with, you know, the, the rules. We, cha we changed the rules. So now we have a coin flipper. Because we need to know if we can or cannot catch a Pokemon. Because there's 120 shadow Pokemon or estimated and that is far too many shadow pokemon to be given to us in this challenge run um so therefore to make the game tougher on ourselves and more interesting to the viewer i wanted to add a flipper besides that the layout was done prior to you know fix the black bar it's bothering you i'm so sorry i can't without adjusting everything i was trying to do that before stream too and i just ended up saying fuck it but like look Watch this. Ready? Look. That's the size of a GameCube uh, window. Right? That's the size of it. Now you guys are all seeing this shit. There I am. There y'all are. Give myself a limit on how many Pokemon I can capture. Good point. But also... Yeah, y'all see the, the garbage I'm dealing with. 
Did I randomize the hack? No. No, I did not. Look at this. Look at look at look at all this, guys. Mostly because because one person said it, and I'm also slightly bothered by it. I'm now going to adjust the entirety of the layout. Here we are. Looks gross. Stop it. Stop it. Don't don't make fun of my layout. The custom borders are weird. I did it with radical red. I didn't like it. Oh my god. Guys, you gotta understand, I have like seven layers. Right. You like the black borders? Makes it look more natural on a TV. Uh, I mean, actually, I like this more personally. So that's that's the way I'd, I'd maybe like it to stay. Make run a little bit bigger, I guess. It it do, I think it looks better personally. Like, sure, it's not perfect anyway. But it's all it's all about doing this garbage, bro. Flip the coin. I know, dude. I know. This is why I don't edit layouts in real time, because then it just turns into, you should do this, you should do that. Bring back the salt meter. When <laughs> when you playing Pikmin 2 Kaizo with no deaths? I don't know. I'm sorry. All right. Well. That's just, like, so funny that that's the way this looks. That's fine. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. It's it. It's, it's it's over. It's done with. I'm flipping a coin now. Oh, I know you. I know you don't care, young lad. I'm not. I ain't. I ain't being that dude. This is what happens when we live stream. Okay, so this first <laughs> first flip. Bring back the slap meter, Louis the Merrill. Heads we keep him, tails he dies. Let's go. Now a t line top left that's bothering to look at. I will actually end stream. Oh no, now XSplit's booting up. It's all a mess. It's all a mess. Top, top, oh I see, I see. My apologies. My apologies. That's actually huge. That's huge. Meryl is insane. I want to see how it looks on the OBS window when I do this. Tail low. Stays. Tail low also stays alive we're two for two twenty sixteen world champion wolf glick stays I was so ready to kill. I was so ready to make a bit. Oh, man. Oh, man. Insane. Trico. Unnamed. Stays. We only have one more Pokemon we can uh, flip for. At this point. That's insane! Okay, hold on. It's so funny because that just means that this whole exercise was for nothing. Okay. Alright, massive. Actually massive. I mean, the odds aren't that crazy, right? Like, it's not that crazy. But still. 
Torchic is Torchic is Torchic is really really good. Uh, it's modest nature. <laughs> we didn't have to give up anybody. Yo. A, a based game. Based game is based. Unbelievable. Un okay, you know what? I'm I have to it has to be able to flip, right? It has to be able to flip tails. Like I'm not making it up. Like I'm just going to flip another one. There okay, there we go. All right. <laughs> the next one was tails. That's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> That's so good. I pressed the allow tails. Yeah, yeah. I flipped the coin with one odd. Yep. You're right. That that's me. It's it's huge actually. It's huge. Guys, literally just look look up coin flipper. You'll see the exact thing I'm using. Okay. Regardless, that's so awesome. We have to keep every single one of our Pokemon. Um, the question then becomes: Do we flip as the Pokemon? comes out in battle like before we catch it so we have to kill it maybe save yeah you know what saving is a good idea we haven't had the uh the chance to save so let's we'll save i think as soon as the sh a new shadow pokemon comes out in battle um we'll we'll flip so we've done these two i guess we'll do we'll do mudkip Flip, flip after it's in box is harder. Yes, it's harder, but also, like, it directly affects how we play battles. I think it's as soon as it comes out. That way, it's, it's better for risk-reward that way. Like, it feels less cheap, right? The coin is back. I'll maybe work on the coin graphic uh, in between streams. Oh, this is so engaging now. Uh, what controller do I use if it's a Pro Controller Switch? How did I set it up? It is a GameCube controller with a little Kirby sticker on it. Mudkip! Yeah, it was- it, listen. We got to save so many of our Pokemon. We got to save so many. Uh, bottom right for the coin. Oh, is it blocking something on the like the battle layout? Oh, okay, totally. No, no, no. Good, good call. Good call. Good call. I'll find out a, a better spot to to put it. I swear. Uh, I'm gonna obviously mix up the layout in between. Uh, this stream and the next time we do this, because obviously we'll, we're going to do it next time. Okay. R.I.P. Mudkip. Sorry, bud. I'm going to protect with Zigzagoon. Zigzagoon's out here literally just to get experience. <sighs> Alright, and we're back into the game. Things are cool. Things are fun. Chroma Key? Just a suggestion. Yeah. Uh, so that all that would do is it would um, also eliminate the text in the middle of it, too. Which actually might not look that terrible. Let's just see how it looks. Let's see how it looks. I, I do I do like that idea. I do I do like that idea. Oh, did you just get rid of all of it? What the hell? That's like... We'll have to see. Next time we flip. Next time we flip. We'll see if it looks moderately okay. I could also design a custom coin graphic. 
I th no, actually, that wouldn't work at all. Because I don't know. Or I could flip a real coin, but chat, you guys don't trust me, so. Kiff's hidden ability is damp anyway. All good. We got to keep every single one of our Pokemon. That's so broken. Would rather have Kicking Fire Chicken anyways. Yeah, plus we have Vaporeon and Azumarill, so I'm actually not too worried about not having another water type. Has to be a Pokemon coin flipper somewhere. It doesn't need to be Pokemon themed. It just literally needs to be a coin. I kind of like the red versus blue. Like, it helps, like, a very clear, like, blue you get it, red you don't. That did so much damage. Uh, okay, we're gonna... I know we're faster, but I just cannot bring myself to stay in. Pikmin coin flipper to stay on brand. That's true. That's true. What's happening to my brand? I can feel the people unsubscribing. It's not red, it's pink, though. Can you feel me groaning? We're dodging. The XP gain here is so bad. Yeah, it's really not good. That didn't do anything. Didn't matter. We're Vaporeon's definitely faster than Mudkip, so. What have you missed? We almost executed four of our Pokemon and none of them actually got executed. Actually, five of them. Kind of busted. All right. No Mudkip. Sad season with no Mudkip. I'm going to use the rare candy. Actually, what is Zigzagoon's... Oh boy, hold on. Jesus. My God. 585. And then I'll... Yeah, if I was level 20. Eh, not yet. Not yet. I should put Trico in the party, probably, over anything else. Good stats, but no Torrent. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to put Trico in the party. Uh, certainly over... Over Talo. Talo doesn't even eat hits. We'll eventually, you know, um, purify it. Name it. All right, let's go to this man's. Ziggy's bold. He's just a, he's a bold dude. It's not bad. Everything's fine. All right. The coin. The coin. Sandshrew and Fampy. Is this... Is this going to be Fampy? This is probably Fampy, right? Yup. Okay. Fampy. Tails. All right, we got our we got our luck out early, keeping our dudes. See, like the chroma key made it so that you couldn't see the color, you couldn't see the second color. No, it wasn't only flipping tails. It was literally just because of the chroma key feature in. Uh, in OBS. Like, it just made it look strange, I think. Because it couldn't keep up with the animation, I'm pretty sure. Like, it couldn't chroma key in real time because it wasn't, like, a um, predetermined graphic. So, I think it just... Pfft, the bed, you know? Uh, level 22. Oh, my God. Try again, please. Hilarious. Was it only... Yeah. Um, I'm going to click Water Pulse. I'll click Water Pulse again, then I'll go out to Meryl. I would have liked Fampy. Try to fit top left, set the background to white for behind socials. Yeah, no, I'm going to...
I'm gonna reorganize the layout eventually. Um, so that was... A lot of damage. Oh, I can just go into Trico, I guess. We just protected, though. Alright. I'm going into Trico here. Sheer Force? I do outspeed it. The problem is, is that he hit me with Mud Slap. Which means that there's a chance my Water Pulse misses and we die. Also, it's very strange that he went for this first slot here. The chance we die is higher. Ah, ain't it. Keeping Shadow Pokemon's a good play. Exactly. True. Tech Tips. What a great name. Did nine to us. To be fair, he's also five levels over us as well. So. It's kind of a lot. Uh, I guess I'll Shadow Whip, and then we'll Bite. I don't even think Bite will kill, dude. I don't think Bite will kill, but I think that's what we have to go for. Oh my god, we missed? That sucks. No, okay. Still on Trico, maybe? I think the AI is kind of broken. I don't understand why that works. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, Mighty Ang is going to bite Fampy again, and I'm going into Louie. Ban Shadow from Story Progress in XD Battles. That was another thought. Ban Shadow. Ban Shadow Pokemon? What? What's the accuracy on Shadow Whip? I think. I think it's like 90 at least. I didn't even take a look at it. We'll, we'll check after the, uh, after we murder this dude. Yeah, how do you ban shadow anything? How, but how, how do you ban shadow anything though? That's the, that's my question. Uh, player off stronger than Aqua Jet, actually. Mathematically, it's 135 base power versus 120. Sandshrew dodging. Here I am doing math, guys. Is the half math emote... Did I upload that? Is that in circulation? 80 base? What? That's... 60 it's 60 times 2 okay it is there it's it's 40 times 1.5 which is 60 times 2 because it's super effective which is 120 player off is 135 unless you're saying player off is base 80 in this game in which case it's not okay perfect i'm correct great stuff great stuff GG, easy. Beautiful. Rampardos. I love Rampardos, dude. I mean, I, I don't love him as a Pokemon. Uh, I actually like Bastiodon significantly more. But he carried me in my Nuzlocke, so I give it up. Tech tips. Stand out front for no reason. All right. Ooh, we talking. Mareep and Electrike. So it's usually a Mareep. So I feel like it's actually going to be Electrike here. Okay. Electrike. We get him. 
All right. That's that's uh, another mon. The mon of the box. Hell yeah. We take those. Oh, get... Who gave this thing Giga Drain? What level is this thing? And why does it have Giga Drain? I'm going to use it on Electrike, and then I'm going to protect here. I'm going to come up with a better uh, coin flipping system later. I promise. Shadow Pulse. Interesting. Giga Drain's TM. Oh. Wait. Oh, we have Lightning Rod. Oh, but it functions like Gen 3 Lightning Rod. We didn't get the special attack boost from it. So I wonder how Storm Drain functions then. Huh. Alright. Uh, Shadow Pulse means I go into Torchic. POV every Pikmin hack I've ever played. Uh, yeah, pretty much all of them. Can't wait for, like, New Year. You know? Like, a game that's not gonna be ridiculously difficult. It's boost special. Wait, but did it, though? Did it just not show? Did it just not show that I got plus one? I mean, we won at KO'd Mary, so I'm imagining it just didn't show. Oh, we have one Pokeball. Okay. I'm gonna Shadow Whip and Shadow Stealth. Might not get Electro Pub after all. No, we're getting Electro Pub. I didn't even know that a chance to poison. What was that? What kind of shadow move can do that? Wh we're getting this thing. It's easily 100% guaranteed. I need to check the freaking... Hold on. I'm sorry. Strikes the foe with vines steeped in toxins. Okay, but it says nothing about a chance to poison. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining because I think it basically guarantees it. Never needed to use your brain this much for a Pokemon game. This game's on another level. It's kind of, kind of is. One chance. Yeah, I'm not worried. I'm going to call Torchic, I guess. I'm not worried. Guys, I know how catch rates work. This thing is a guarantee. It's not a fucking Groudon, it's an Electric. <laughs> Might actually inflict Toxic. Wait, ooh. If it inflicts Toxic, that's nuts. <gasps> different, oh my god, wait, it's a literally, it was a different bot. It was a different bot than the bots that come to the Pikmin streams. Crazy. Weird how that works. I did do a whole college presentation on catch rates. And Electrikes, I got to imagine, is at least in the 200s. Uh, right. We got a full heal. Very cool. Uh, I need to buy Pokeballs. <laughs> we have none. The girls in class were swooning. My stats professor was swooning. He had no idea what we were talking about, and I think that's why we got an A. <laughs> we got an A-plus on that presentation. No, I think, you know, honestly, I think it's because of the amount of viewers. I think it's because bots see, you know, oh, this person has over 200 viewers or oh, over 100 viewers. Like, let's target the stream. Versus now, I don't actually, I don't, I don't usually check my viewer count that often because I try not to wrap myself up in it but yeah 55 so that might be the major 
difference. Do I think I will play Emerald Rogue? I have a video that is edited and ready to go for Emerald Rogue. I just need to make a thumbnail. Plus, like, you can kind of see, like, you know, if my chat's popping off, then I kind of feel the fact that I have a lot of viewers. But I don't, like, monitor it. Like, it's that's definitely not good. Especially, like, guys, like, if you're first starting out streaming, like, don't look at, don't look at your viewer counter. Like, you'll just see, like, zero or one or two. And you'll just be like, you know, who am I streaming to? Why am I streaming to it? It's just so easy to get discouraged with, like, a very, very small number. But you know what I mean. But you just gotta, like, just not even think about it and just keep going. I was never in that boat. Luckily enough, I, I came in with a... I'm not a decently established audience. I shouldn't say that. But I didn't start my content journey by streaming. I started it by making videos. So, like, even the first Radical Red streams, like... Like, the first night, I maybe had, like, 30 viewers. You know what I mean? Like, at most. But still, like, that was the first stream I had done on YouTube. And I had... I don't even know. Three? Four? No. Maybe like 300 subscribers. 400 subscribers. Most of them subscribe because of the analysis. But some of them subscribe because of... Um, Pokemon Coliseum. And some video essays I did early on in the channel. Hey, what do we call this bird? We have a bird. What would I do if I were streaming and suddenly I had 10,000 watch now pop up? Um, so that hasn't happened to me. Um, but I, I did get raided by Pokemon challenges one time on Twitter or fuck. You guys are making me lose my train of thought. Um, not you guys. I'm, I've said this at the beginning of the stream. I'm terribly exhausted. I'm literally running on fumes, um, on Twitch T W I word. Sorry. I meant, yes, I meant Twitch, yes. Um, Pokemon Challenge rated us, so we went from, like, 20 viewers to, like, 3,000 one day. And it was just, like, I was, like, not overwhelmed, you know, but it was, like, oh, my God, like, this is crazy. Like, you know, I have to now entertain this many people for whatever period of time and hope that I can get some of them to stay. And, of course, I did, you know, because that's the name of the game. Tweet this bird up. I do like bird up. I kind of like bird up. <laughs> bird, bird. Everything is bird. <laughs> I know. Why is everything bird though? But why did we get there? I didn't even come up with the wee bird. You guys did that. <laughs> Bulbert, that's on me. I take full responsibility for Bulbert. I don't know how or why. This is my first time playing XG. So I played six years ago, I think. Um, my sophomore year of college. I briefly did uh, a couple videos on it. Not on this channel, but on a different channel. Um, and I made it to like the Snagum hideout. But it's been a while since I've played. And obviously it's had a, a new update. But yeah, when, when Jan raided us, it was it was really cool. I mean, it was just a, it was just a neat experience, I guess. You know, just being put in front of that many, like, people, and like it's all over the internet, so it's like kind of different. But it was also like, you know, you gotta kind of buckle down and be like, okay, I now need to like entertain. I now need to make sure that people understand what's going on in the stream, and like doing a whole you know, song and dance to to welcome them all in, and you know. Rating being opt-in on YouTube makes things like that less of a pleasant surprise. Uh, explain that to me because I'm still relatively new back to YouTube. So I didn't even know rating was sort of a thing on here. 
I knew you had to opt in to like being uh, gifted memberships, which I think is kind of silly. But I didn't know it was for rating. You can't raid channels or be rated unless I like whitelist people. Oh, that's so weird. I think rating is great because it lets like it's it's all about discovery, you know. I mean, YouTube's always been good about discovery, though, so I get that that's maybe a place that they didn't feel they needed to, uh, you know, improve on. We have... Purple guy. Purple guy. Mr. Purple. Bagon. That's not what I thought you were going to have. I thought it was going to be... Oh, okay. All right. He has Intimidate? Let's not get too hype, folks. Let's not get too hype. Nice. Nice. All right. I'm going to hyper voice and protect. The coin flipper adds such an element to it. This is a, this is a great, great idea. I'm so happy we implemented this. <gasps> oh, I saw a crit. I have my freaking heart drop, dude. It's my storm drain. Oh. Uh. Dope. So, he should live... A second one. I'm going to send in Trico. Did I get more balls? Yeah, I think I bought 20 of them. Why is Tech Tips there? Just to protect? Uh, yes, but also to get experience when we kill the second Pokemon. Alright, we're plus one special attack, but that was a crit earlier. Exactly. Mathematics. Mathematical. There we go. Yeah, we have a premiere ball, too. In commemoration of this Bagon? Sure. We have sub? Bro, did I click substitute right now? I'm clicking sub right now. The coin giveth, and the coin taketh. Let's go. Yeah, he's level 23. That's insane. Dude, the level cap is 25, so, like, that's kind of very, kind of, kind of, kind of close. What are you going to do? And that is the last hexagonal grunt. We made out like a bandit. We only lost Fampy and Mudkip. Total. Those are the only tales that have come up. Are Fampy and Mudkip. He's a Draco plate? Yeah, that's unbelievable. Alright, put Bird in the box. I guess I'll... Honestly, I want the Azu, though. I really want Linoon to evolve, too. I feel like I should grind. Is that silly? I really want to grind these two specifically. So I think I'm gonna... If I go to Mount Battle, will I get absolutely effed in the B, though? 
Or I could just I could just lead them and I could just go into these guys after. I think that's probably what I'll do. Oh, okay. Sure. That's fine. Yeah, Azu's usually 18. Unless it's changed, which some ROM hacks change it. Uh, um, BB2R. Uh, uh, um. <laughs> Louie. I love Louie. Skitty and Duskull. All right, we're chilling. Um, very well balanced for training. Nice. I'd love to hear it. Early stages are pretty easy. Okay, then that's something that we uh, probably will do. Assuming, you know, we're not just going to use all Shadow Pokemon versus Lavarina, which we'll see. I also don't want to over-level, which is a concern. No Shadow Duskull for Spooky Month. Starts on Ghost. Interesting. That didn't do any damage. Jesus. Yeah, this game's pretty sick. The only thing that's not sick about it is the fact that you hear the Cypher Peon theme for 80% of the game. And it's a good theme, but it's only a 40 second loop. That wasn't a crit? Shadow Pikachu? Shadow... Sneasel. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Any section of it instantly is insane. The default battle theme is worse. Oh, it is. No, it is worse, definitely. I just missed Coliseum, dude. Uh... You're okay, right, Louie? Okay. Louie is fine. Right back into tech tips. And kill the skitty. There's the looty. King of the sea, what's going on? Welcome on in. Found Pokey Spot Munchlax. Let's go. Munchlax is broken. Coliseum has insane music. Also, why did that do no damage at all? Doesn't affect tech tips. Tech tips is a b b, -b a broken. His moveset sucks, though. Like, at least get headbutt, dude. Come on. Come on, Skitty. Come on. The Coliseum semifinal theme and the final theme. Oh, my God. They're so good. Get to 17, dude. Pika! Yo, Spec? Where's Spec at? Whoa! Yo? Hey, yo! Ooh, doesn't Zig get headbutt at 17? It very well could. Uh, I think I'm still gonna keep Wolfie in, and I'm gonna switch to Trico. I just want to murder Skitty. Alright, Sal. Are we going to be able to use... Don't go for Mightyena. Alright, nice. Okay, we get a Pikachu. Alright. Sure. Alright. And there's the 17. It's Quick Attack, which Quick Attack is just as strong as Tackle. So there's no reason to ever click Tackle over Quick Attack. Tackle's base 50 power in later generations. Zigzag get hit by level 11. Well, we started at level like 13 or something, so. 
Gen 6 level up learn sets with some minor additions like Psychic Fangs. Um, yeah, who said, oh, Super Job with the Beldum? Yeah, so that was the earliest version of XG. You have Hidden Power Fire? Is that on purpose? Because that's broken. Am I allowed to capture missed ones in repeat battles? Uh, no. So, like, if Mirror B shows up and he has, like, for instance, Fampy, we can't catch that Fampy. We just need to kill him again. But for every new Shadow Pokemon we encounter, we'll flip the coin. Walter. Uh, um, I'm gonna... Giga Drain? Well, Giga Drain won't kill this thing. And if it does, then... I don't know what to tell you. Then Pikachu is just a bad Pokemon, but it's a fat rat. It's literally fat. I can't call Pikachu a bad Pokemon. I mean, look at this thing. It's so chunky. I am the one who knocks off. <laughs> that killed, right? Oh my God. Oh my God. We didn't have any boosts or nothing. Trico just sent it. I know Giga Drain's a high base power move. I get it. I get it. But what? That doesn't make any sense. We said Trico's hasty, right? Don't we say, yeah, Trico's hasty. I mean, 35 special attacks a lot. At least for this point in the game. But it's kind of insane. Smoke Breath, what's going on? Glass Bones and Paper Skin. What is it? Every every morning I break my arms. And every night I break my legs. <laughs> like what is <laughs> crazy bit? Honestly, great SpongeBob uh, reference. It could have been minus Spadef nature too. We don't know. Mr. White, I found a Pikachu. Jesse. <laughs> now it's way funnier in Pikmin. Way funnier in Pikmin, guys. I can't just pull out. It's breaking bulb. It's a it's a totally different set of circumstances. All right, it all has to re it's, it revolves around capitalism. Okay. Forgot to say, my battle also has an item for Poke coupons that allows trade evos like Kadabra or Machoke to steal a ball. Very cool. Then I lay in agony until the heart attacks put me to sleep. <laughs> That's so good. Do the grunts live in the ceiling? Yes. Not even like a question. They just do. They just do. They sit up there. That, that, that's where they hang out. They think it's cool. Grunts travel using vents. Uh oh. Vents? He vented? I think I have a total of four Among Us videos on the channel. Four. I know. Isn't that whack? You guys wouldn't even think so, right? Go dig those up. Those have about 50 views each. I thought they're pretty good. I, I, I enjoyed them for what they were. Schmack. Hasty, Trico has base 65 special attack with Giga Rain and 75 with Stab. That's very true, but I still didn't think it would one-shot a neutral target. It's more than my Zelda videos. Actually, Sal, actually, fact check yourself. I have a single Zelda short on the channel. Oh, I was about to go to it. <laughs> you guys saw the coin probably briefly change. I have a single Zelda short on the channel. I'm going to it right now. I gotta know. I gotta know. Yeah, just, 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 to, just to rub it in. The worst guard of all time. 1,631 views. Zelda makes up a bigger portion of my content than Among Us. <laughs> one 30 second short. This is one more than four. It's all about engagement, okay? impressions okay I also have 
eight Animal Crossing videos or something like that. Giga's 50 base power in Gen 3. This is uh, Pokemon XG, though. So everything has been updated to uh, pretty much Gen 6 and above. And later, I should say. Not above, but... Uh, this is Meryl. And it is now no longer a Meryl. It is now an Azumarill. Very fun. Pitiful 35 base HP. No health to withstand that. Yeah... Maybe I should have been a little more careful. I knew it could have been a risk. I probably should have just used Shadow Move. But I don't know. It's okay. I'm not heartbroken about not getting a Pikachu. I'm heartbroken I couldn't name it um, Spec. But it is what it is. Um, Can't even go that way, I don't believe. Holothura just... Binge watching my Lens of Torture series. Very cool. See, now that it's all out there, now it's like, okay, it's, it is a lot of content, but it's not like unmanageable for sure. Now flip to see if I kill a Zoomerill. That's so funny. No, no, but the shadow move was, um, um, uh, 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 resisted. Oh, you're saying some, to something else, like, if it was in my party? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, same thing with, like, Taillo. Like, I just hate using frail Pokemon in Nuzlocke, especially when it's all double battles. Like, that just makes it significantly worse. Alright, I'll fight Clan Pearl, and I'll go to my Grass-type. I think we're gonna need to maybe train how am i doing grinding in this game i'm gonna basically i think just play through everything i forget what we did for grinding in grand kala i feel like we just grinded normally or we didn't even really need to grind if all my mods aren't at the cap i'm just saying whatever yeah basically oh there are candies i totally forgot oh i don't want to All right, I'm gonna Aqua Jet. We came in a really terrible time. I'd consider rare candies. I'd have to find a code for it. I didn't think that far ahead. I've been pretty, uh, I've been slacking on this particular series and the prep for it because I've been just ungodly busy this week. And lots of, lots of work, lots of editing, lots of stuff. Catching up with Lands of Torture, you know, making sure the guide's all in order. Um, all the descriptions are accurate. It's a lot. But Love of the Pikmin content. So far, I saw Kazo251. Now watching Lights of Torture. Cool. Welcome on in, Surge X25. We need to cook rare candies. Jesse, rare candies. I'm so tired. I can't. I can't even. I can't even bring it out, dude. I can't even. I can't even bring it out. <laughs> I'm hurting. I... I'm gonna end stream soon. I hate to say it, I'm like, I'm so tired. Like, I feel my head is just like pounding. I've gotten maybe 12 hours of sleep in the last like three days, which for some of you insomniac fucks is like, you know, not like, it's like an okay amount. For me, it's not even a little bit. <laughs> I, I need more sleep, period. I was up till three last night. And I woke up at 7. Like, I don't know, dude. I just chug a coffee. And that be that. Bee drill? We're getting bee drill. Breaking bag on. Hilarious. Insomniac fuck can confirm. There you go. Exactly. Exactly. I'm not that way. I'm just not. I, I need sleep. I do. And I'm crashing right now from all the caffeine and everything. Take some Advil if my head hurts. It's just going to make me sore in the morning. What's going to make me sore in the morning? Sleeping? <laughs> Trico can now be purified. Insane. Yeah, Mr. White. <laughs> What's your favorite Pokemon? Metagross. 
I'm, that doesn't even sound like Walter. I can't even I can't even get there right now, guys. I can't even get there. <laughs> it's so corrupted at this point. Like I can't even bring out the impressions. Shotgun a Red Bull and beat this thing tonight. You know? <sighs> Quick round to land the torture. I have beaten XD all in one sitting. Not XG. But I was at a sleepover at my buddy's house when I was like 15. And we started at maybe 7 at night. And we finished at like 5 a.m. And I remember the Pokemon we used too. We used Fampy from the wild or if the uh pokey spot we used ursaring i used a celio and then i think is there a shadow muck i feel like i used a muck too but i only used like four pokemon throughout the entire playthrough um and we just heard the grunt theme just in our heads for like a week after that the cypher theme you can only play a few hours of xd and xg at a time like you just cannot sit there and do that entire game like yeah you can speed run i get it totally the xd 100 percent speed run world records 18 hours of room for optimization i could do it in one sitting with red bull a hundred percent i mean that also requires us to do like the uh coliseum and everything right technically i don't know but regardless saying that you can only play a few hours of xd and xg at a time uh this is where i'm gonna be calling the stream i'm totally just like i'm totally crashing like usually i wouldn't usually i like to stream for like five to six hours but there's also some uh minor stuff i need to do as far as getting the layout kind of in order maybe come up with a better way to um handle the coin flipping uh as well as just little tiny tweaks to, to what we're doing in the series. I uh, want to make sure I have the level caps in order as well, so I am a little bit more organized going into part two. Um, but yeah, no, it's definitely time. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I know it's not Pikmin. Some of you are here for Pikmin. Some of you recently discovered the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, regardless, uh, really makes me happy to see uh, a lot of familiar faces. And um, certainly gonna be very i'm just i'm just happy with how this went i didn't feel like streaming tonight when i got home uh, i bucked up i did it i've had a great time uh you guys made my night so thank you so much i'm gonna get out of here uh yeah till next time